I think he's my first duplicate. Yeah, he's my first, first duplicate. Yeah. Like your first S duplicate? S duplicate, yeah. No, no, uh, Coletta. I think, I think, Col no. I, oh, yeah, I'm still missing Soldier and Coletta. You want, you want Soldier? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take I'll take your grace over my um, soldier. No, I like my grace. No. <laughs> you can have your soldier. I, I I don't like how soldier plays, honestly. Same. You have to like delay, but, uh, delay, delay. <laughs> you have to delay, delay. But if you have a mono mono fire team, the the blaze actually goes up fast. Oh, does it? Okay. Interesting. Yeah, so it, it becomes like a passive that you don't that you forget it turns on because um mm -hmm. I don't know if you're doing the the trial shit that's at the um HIB with the um Mango Boo, the professor. Oh, I have I haven't started that no. Okay, so in there there are like a few sections where you can just dump your uh, agents to gain passive um, XP for like you know. Let them be in this spot for twelve hours. You'll get probably a level up or more. Let the, oh, is it like a, the, like a scout mission or something? Is that what it is? Expedition? I, yeah, it, it's you're studying because mm. it's like a classes in session. Um, but what I like about what the Bangaboo does on certain trials, it's gonna say like to complete to have an easier time with this. I'm just uh, summarizing. To have an easier time with this uh this um battle trial, have at least two two agents from Victoria um household. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't have it? Here you go. Here, here, they're they're right here. They're level sixty. They're souped up. Have fun. Try them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in some of the trials, they'll be like, have oh. two um okay. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Coletto's, you know, mm. um, industries, uh, mm. agents. Yes. What? You don't have her? Okay, here here they all are. Mm -hmm. Have fun. Right. And for some reason, Soldier is part of it. So it's like, oh, okay, let me try the Soldier, Coletta, and Ben. Yeah, it's fire, yeah. And I'm like, holy shit, <laughs> I don't need... I only use a Soldier to do DPS, and Coletta and Ben are the ones that's bringing up the um, stagger. Yeah, the stagger meter. Yeah. And then once the stagger meter hits, when you switch to soldier, she's already ready to just fucking flame on. And I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Yeah. Uh, and then there is mm -hmm. the trial. Um, have at least two, two agents from PubSec. And I was like, mm -hmm. okay, since I don't have key, um, key let me try her out. Holy shit, I should have rode on her fucking banner. Because <laughs> she does much better shit than fucking Abby. Because, mm -hmm. you know, um, I have Yuyang and um, Nicole, because, you know, they're pretty much sisters to do their ether shit. Ether, and mm -hmm. you need a stunner. You need a stunner. Yeah. In there, that's either pub sec or. Um, part of the cunning Harry hairs, and it's like, fuck, I have Abby. Abby, you fucking suck. <laughs> She's very basic. That's just the issue. Very. She's basic, mm -hmm. and if you don't build her right, her staggered me um, game meter shit, it's not even worth it. Yeah. Well, you have to do her, uh, what do you call her buttons, right? Like, you have to actually do the... Well, Ambi and Soldier kind of... You know, they're supposed to be from the same sector or whatever, or sec, um, group, because they're both super soldiers. You know, if you read into the lore. Uh, Ambi, so... Kind of has some a piece of what Sol Soldier 11 has, which is basically when you do her string, if you do her delay on her... What was it? Her third button or something? She, like, puts her sword... And you can kind of see, uh, she, she puts her sword away for a little bit, and then she, you can kind of like see her charge a little bit. 
then you um yeah hit it and then you do, and then she does the the thing so you have to uh remember that i don't know i uh, i know what you're talking about it's just yeah. that overall oh yeah overall her kid is basic so it's not like yeah her, her kid is basic and when she does her counter block it does not feel good hmm. when i was counter blocking with um key i was like oh mm-hmm. let me whack you with my fucking stick <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. Let me and then, uh, make sure my audio's good. I forgot. I forgot who I um. It's one of the dudes. He has yeah. seizure. Um, seizure. He has Caesar. I did not know you can use Caesar's um. Parry to parry red, red attacks. Oh yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I've been I've been doing that. Like uh, I I'm just like. I blocking, just been I just block. been blocking. Yeah, I just been blocking. Just, yeah, because <laughs> I I just been doing the deflect at the yellow ones, but mm. I didn't do it at the red. No, I, no, I'm you no, know no. You're, she, you're, she you're can... so conditioned to just yeah. like oh red zip. Yeah, you can. Yeah, but, you have to dodge. Uh, you're you're conditioned to dodge on red, and then yellow you block or whatever or parry. Yeah, but now now it's with her. It's like <laughs> red <Yep>. block block <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> red. Yep. Oh, man. Yeah, no, she's playing. She's playing third strike. <laughs> yeah, until you 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 miss time. The the red is like ah red pink. Oh yeah, shit! Oh, yeah. That's why I do the de- the what do you call it, a dodge assist? Make it a little easier. All right, are we ready? Uh, let me double check on my audio just to make sure. You, we're both I go home now. Home. You are home. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm never home. Home is where, where the dick is. And the dick is not here. <laughs> home is where the dick is. <laughs> I need dick. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why well, have I never like <laughs> heard that from you till now? <laughs> oh my god! Oh why? Yeah, why did? Yeah. Oh, so uh, shout outs for Hawaii for being fucking eighty-five degrees right now. Oh yeah, dude, it's fucking like super foggy. Like, and it's like not not that cold. It was like it's it is cooler, but it's not like cold. You know what I mean? Like I can still like wear my shirt. Oh, yeah. You you guys didn't hit the uh your winter season yet. No, it's like it, it's ramping. It's ramping up. Yeah, it's building up, but it's yeah, it's not quite winter. It, it, it's probably you're you're probably gonna feel the cold once Mariah Carey gets out of her ice prison. God damn it! <laughs> All the <of us. laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I sw- I swear, right after uh, what do you call uh, Halloween? It's 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 gonna hit, man. Right now, we don't have the radio on when we're working, so I'm not hearing. We're not hearing any music, but I I hope to God I don't fucking turn on the radio during that time because, uh. So if someone's gonna blast Christmas music, oh my fucking god! I am gonna smash that that box right in front of any, right in front of everyone. <laughs> no, we'll see what you're gonna do is like if it's a Wi-Fi connection to mm-hmm. the radio, just plug in initial D music oh, and see god, what happens. Yeah. Or you mean uh, Bluetooth? Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, whatever. I'm old. I'm old. I'm gay. I need dick. <laughs> it's old. It's what a dick is. <laughs> you should put on a t-shirt. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. <laughs> I think it's just the way you said it at that moment or that time, specific time. I mean, did you record it? <laughs> it's it's on. We're streaming. <laughs> Good. <laughs> clip that. I will clip that. Oh my god. 
Um. Oh yeah. Um. Let me let me tweet, and then we can. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. I got, I I had a bit of the giggles there. Oh my god. This is fine. I'll do it on my computer. I'll do it myself. Bye. Okay. Tweeted, all that stuff. Uh, oh yeah, let me test the sound. Um, let me see. Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it! All right, we are kidding you. <laughs> no doubt. Whatever. I'll just do it from here then, just to test it, quote unquote. Um. All right, so it is October, so um, you know I thought I thought I uh, add this in. <laughs> yep, <laughs> you know to lift up the the Halloween spirit, right? And it's Keith Davis, so how can you how, how can how can you go wrong? All right, and this one too. Now that. What's some shit? <laughs> Ew. I don't like shit. <laughs> this is doo doo, baby! <laughs> hey. Now we got two things about, about poo. When it comes to sound, uh, board stuff. Oh, yeah. Let me, let me play this one since I haven't in a hot minute. See that one? Get the fuck out <laughs> of the white zone. <laughs> Please get the fuck off the white zone as it is for loading and unloading. <laughs> you do not belong here. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, this is gonna be me soon during Halloween. Don't play it. Don't play it on stream. <laughs> no, don't play on stream. Okay, okay, okay. You can watch it like off. I'll I'll, I'll like play I'll, I'll play it off stream. Wink, wink. You know. <laughs> All right, I see it. Okay. Alrighty, we are back for this uh week. Or edition of the hype cast. This is in D295. We're almost there for 300, uh, 300, which means, uh, that should be, yeah, we should have enough weeks to be able to make it by the time we take that big break, possibly, um, in Maybe. December. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, yeah, because it's just a month, that's a month's worth, right? So, yeah, we should be fine. Um, yeah. So we're that much closer to, uh, hitting that. 300 uh pretty um pretty wild to say at least you know um for the hype yes you know we've done it for we've done it since 15 right 2015 we had a we had a bunch of guys like in here like at one point 
and then now it's um you know downsizing all that stuff which happens with everybody with every um ma- not major but like you know those groups with podcasts and stuff like that um whatever it is you know projects and all that stuff because you know life happens but anyway we're here and we're here to uh tangent off and babble and chat about some gaming and all the nerdy stuff that as as we always have done you know something some, some things don't change as others do you know um by the way i am wearing the shirt that zawa gave me um it's the matsumoto um what's it what's it called shaved ice matsumoto yeah, shaved, shaved ice. ice yep i don't know i can't die if you can see my back but yeah it's got the it's got the uh like a dragon stuff on there pretty cool i like i like the shirt uh thank you for the shirt zawa <clears throat> Um, perhaps I will one day, uh, actually visit ha- uh, Hawaii. I- I've never, I've never been to Hawaii, so that would be, uh, uh, a treat for me. If I can make plans around it, but yeah. But, that'll be for a, uh, long future talk or whatever, but anyway. Um, so, with this edition of the Hypecast, it is a little more on the dry side. Uh, not much has happened, but there is some stuff nonetheless. Um, some unfortunate, some pretty cool, and then... Um, but we do have uh, something to talk about nonetheless. Alrighty. So, with that out of the way... Um, and yes, yeah, we do have the new soundboard stuff. You know, like we just uh, blasted a little bit. Um, yeah, we got uh, two little things for fighting games. Nothing major, but uh, just a little little dabble. So I'm just going to just go ahead and play this one. This battle is about to explode. All righty. So... <laughs> um... Yes, Terry is out. Heihachi is, I believe, out. And speaking of, yeah, uh, is out. Mm-hmm. Right now. he's fully out. Um, just a just a little, I guess, bit of trivia according to uh, IGN. Uh, Harada-san, right guy, you know, big guy with uh, Tekken, uh, revealed or yeah, revealed that he tried and failed to have KFC mascot Colonel Sanders added as a guest character. According to IGN, anyway. So, um, this could come off as like a weird surprise for like non Japanese people, like, you know, everyone out of Japan. But, yeah. but as someone who's been to Japan myself, and, you know, I'm, you know, as, as someone who is Japanese, but actually been to Japan enough times, I wouldn't be too surprised because, um, there's been a number of games, especially Gotcha that have done collaborations with uh, KFC because KFC is like oddly, oddly popular in Japan, like very popular in Japan to the point where they actually have like a holiday tradition of eating KFC on Christmas or something like that. Um, Or at least in December anyway. So it's to that point. It's kind of like, it's kind of like essentially um, like Thanksgiving almost in a way, but uh, replace that with KFC and like uh, strawberry shortcake because they they love cake like they they eat K- uh, KFC and cake uh, around those sort of holidays. Why I don't know, but that's what they do, right? That's their tradition, right? So it's it's just that popular, and I think it's I think a, a large part of it, of course is that Japanese marketing that they've done for whatever reason. But yeah, that's just kind of how it goes. Kind of like I mean yeah, like the holiday stuff is marketing in general, but yeah. You know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all that nonsense. But yeah. But anyways, yeah. So um, this to me doesn't come off as a huge surprise, like a complete surprise because of that. So having Colonel Sanders like being a guest character would have been yeah funny, obviously. Um, but yeah, um, at least I would have not been surprised definitely with like you know like like kfc outfits or shirts uh, like shoes or you know something for the tekken characters in the customization options that would have been funny or like you know like the, the glasses that wig the white suit um for like 
everyone, you know, that, you know, dress up everyone as Colonel Sanders, I guess, with like actual exclusive parts, maybe. But yeah, um, it looks like Harada himself probably loves KFC. Maybe. So that's why, um, no, you know, like, like so, so many other Japanese people. And to be fair, to be fair, um, I believe they use their, their own chicken, which in Japan, like their meat is their meat game is, <laughs> I, I know that sounds funny, but, <laughs> but the meat game is, um, is very on point, you know, like the whole Wagyu thing and all that stuff. Uh, and don't, and not only Wagyu, but like, you know, po their pork, their chicken, you know, they even they have like horse and, you know, of course they fish, right. You know, obviously, um, so their meat is very much, um, very good. So I, I that's probably also why as well that, you know, it's very popular. Um, just using, a, using that chicken, man. Um, I, uh, also believe their menu is pretty different. Um, one of their, well, when it comes to the chicken itself, they have the, they, I think they have like the yuzu fried chicken, which I have yet to try myself, unfortunately. Um, but I heard it's like, that's like a, a, a staple. I think, I believe it's on the menu, like just on there, like permanently. And not just some like, you know, it, not just like, a, uh, what do you call those? Like once a year annual items or whatever, like the, uh, rib, big rib over here, you know? So, yeah. Um, but yeah, point being, um, try not to be super surprised if you're familiar with, uh, if, or if you're trying to familiarize with Japanese culture, because it's for whatever reason, it's super popular. KFC is just that popular. I mean, um, Genshin has had a KFC, um, collaboration. Uh, you can see it with the, the wings and stuff. They had like a red and white one exclusively from KFC stuff. Uh, I believe also that happened in China. So China has, has also like some cravings for KFC as well. I, I think, I think the Asian, the Asian region just loves fried chicken in their own way including Koreans. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> you see this gif right here? Mm. Boom. Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm uh, not screen sharing. I, I forgot about that. <laughs> there we go. Do you now, do you now see the gif? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this is from. I don't know if this is like, I don't know, AI or something. I don't know, man. This is some, it's, it's very blurry, so I can't really tell. It looks like it's from WWE and actually real, but I don't know. Oh, oh no, wait. Oh, okay. So it's either real or it's in the WWE game. Okay, whatever. Either way. Oh, there you go. Oh, there, there's a much cleaner GIF. Okay, that is real. Okay, that's definitely real. What the fuck? What, when did this happen? Well, okay. I mean, again, to be fair, um, there was that weird like push for KFC here too, with all of, like the social media stuff, man, including this, this um, dating simulator game. Very, very weird uh, times. But at least we got something like this in that situation or from that situation. All right. So any other like comments about uh, like KFC in Japan or Harada in KFC or Colonel Sanders or anything relating to that? No, but I would love to pay $100 for a um, a uh, Christmas cake. In Japan? Yes, or? everyone. They, yeah, in Japan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, damn Christmas cake. They look good, but then you look at the price tag, you're like, ah. Yeah, does it have like gold flakes <laughs> on there or something? Or? Well, it's the, the the ones with the fruits on it. Oh, it, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know there's a, a melon that's uh, 100 bucks worth for sure. 
So yeah, you know, cake, fried chicken. Man, that sounds it's like a more funny that it. sounds like a heart attack on the on the holiday. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. KFC is more and more popular in in Japan than McDonald's. Let's just put that out there. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. I wouldn't. I would not disagree that. Um, I mean, McDonald's is up there too, yeah. of how like embedded it is is it is in the their culture. But yeah, you know, I think because of the fact that they, there's actually a holiday tradition or um, uh, revolving around KFC stuff. Then yeah, like Christmas, I believe yeah they eat fried chicken from KFC. Uh, so yep, that is uh, that. Um, meanwhile, uh, yeah, Seihachi is out. People are customizing him, and I, I've been, I've seen some some funny ones, but um, someone made a uh Omni Man uh out of uh, Heihachi, and yeah, you know, just, this is just one example that's like you know cute or creative or whatever. I mean, would would you approve? Do you, do you like uh this particular take? On a Tekken Omni Man. Where's the cape? <laughs> hey, 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 no capes. <laughs> and if if he was able to change the hair, it's pretty much is like Tony Stark. Mm hmm. Like you... Yeah. No, it's a. Otherwise, yeah, it's a pretty. It's a pretty good. Um rendition of it with the available yeah. parts right now it almost kind of looks like um uh what what what, what was this omni man's race called um viltrumites yeah it's the viltrumite battle uniform but with uh the red armor uh added on top of it because like you know like viltrumites like to wear the, the white suit you know yeah. So pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty. That's essentially pretty much it for the fighting game stuff. So yeah, like I said, it's a uh, kind of on the drier side this week. Well, especially for fighting games. Um, I mean, the, other than the fact that yeah, Sehachi is out and Terry is out. Um, well, at this point, I've heard things about Terry not being like great ish, or at least like. Um, like, yeah, he has a damage, but, um, getting there is kind of his issue-ish. Um, unless anyone, there's, like, a Terry specialist that'll, that'll just, like, bust everyone's ass at some sort of big tournament, then, yeah. Um, for right now, he's just kind of, like, okay-ish at, uh, at least, uh, good at the very best. But not, like, oh my god, he's crazy fucking good, like Luke or, or Ken or whatever. That's, at least that's what I've heard anyway. I could be wrong, but yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. From what I'm watching, like, Terry does, he has good strings, but mm. you need to work on the, like, you need to work on, like, him getting to a damage point where other characters can get it, you know, in, in an easier pace. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Let me turn on my camera for, uh, Sawa here. <laughs> I forgot to turn on my, my other webcam, excuse me. Bit of a bit of a hurry uh early on before I uh before we live streamed. Anywho, um so that's that for fighting games for right now. Unless like I don't know, there's some like news that came out of nowhere that uh we that flew under our our noses or whatever. Um I don't think think otherwise uh there has been anything new wait what the fuck was that oh it's just um abba okay i was like what okay i mean to be fair this this is a hungry clicker like damn we got some nice abba art very nice you know it can always yeah the <laughs> flu Hungry, hungry clicker is just man, like just. There's no, there's no words, like, cause, hungry clicker, clicker is able to 
pump out the art like real fast, especially every time a uh, a fighting game player wins with that particular character. Hungry Clicker just draws and then like, I don't know, within like four hours at most, I would, I would want to say, maybe five, I want to say, boom, there, there it is, right? There's the art, right? Uh, oh yeah, and then um, we got um, that that was that was actually that was actually a good reminder. So Queen Dizzy, I believe, had some sort of really quick teaser or something. Yeah, it was a teaser. Um, let me see. That was during I think it was during uh later in TGS. Um, let me see. My God. She pretty much called him dad because, you know, um, Saul is like, he's pretty much the other half of the, the gears. And then uh, I believe Justice is like the mom, quote unquote, mom. Yeah, Justice is every gear's mom, pretty mm -hmm, much. Pretty she's much. more of a mother, mother towards, uh, well, mother figure towards uh, solely here. Mm hmm. And then, uh, well, they're, well, they're, they were lover well no well because justice yeah. comes from i forget her name it was like ava or something i forget her name um derived from ava so and then saul is from another dude before he became a gear himself i believe and then something happened stuff happened and then you have the valentines and you have dizzy and then blah 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 so yeah so that's why um there was that whole thing with um kai Kisuke, um, and Soul. Because, because technically, by law, he, uh, Soul is his dad. Like, so he's still a father in law. So that was a, a pretty funny bit when they, like, came to realize what's their relationship. But back on to actually Dizzy herself. Damn, that's actually a pretty, that's, a, that's actually a really cool, um, intro animation or whatever you call it because this is supposed to be playing for everyone else too like whenever people come walk in for the intro like it, it, that's what it kind of that's what it is Disney's feels like really natural and it'll like blend in with like everyone else coming in you know because this this looks like a cutscene out of like a story mode or something but this is just a fighting game intro especially with the way um soul comes in it's like and, and that dialogue, I'm like, damn, right? It's not a cutscene. This is this is just the intro thing. So this will happen every time with other characters, like the way she like, um, yeah, yeah, the way she like looks at the opponent, right? And then you know, the way it, like the the angle of it too, like she's it's more lower, so it does feel more like yeah, like a cutscene. Than anything, I don't know. Um, what do you, what do you, uh, what do you make of the uh, dizzy so far? I, uh, I, well, one, her hair is longer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her design, yeah, very different. Yeah. And she does look like she's at peace with herself, and because remember, past iterations, her. Angel and um, Devil side would be like bickering at each other. Mm -hmm. They're not present here, so she probably must have quelled them. Mm, I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, but yeah, I think the at peace I mean, thing is definitely up there. But I don't know if she actually like exercised or uh, what do you call no, it? Not like they, she exercised, but she found a way for them to coexist. Oh, coexist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because remember, they always fought like behind her back, and mm. she'd be like, "Hey, you stop." 
Mm -hmm. But here it looks like yeah they're they're not like at the ready. Yeah. Because when she stands up and she did her um her fighter stance, they didn't appear. Mm -hmm. We only saw wings under her. Right, right, the wings. Yes. Yeah, we don't know her. Well, we don't know her stance either. Let me see. Unless it actually shows it right at the end. Let me see. Oh, there you go. Yep, no yep, wings. Just the wings. Yeah. She has like little little little, little, little little thing right there. Yeah, but not like the devil wing and then the uh the angel wing. Like boom, like you know. Because yeah. if you look at uh Dizzy. In Exert. Uh, where is her, like, idol stance? Well, that's a small picture, but, uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, you know, like, something like that. Uh, let me see. What's a, what's a better one? Oh, there you go. Yeah, right here. Yeah. You got the... White wing, black wing over there. Um. Oh, actually, it is pretty similar, but yeah, like it, it's not like so like. Um, protruding. Yeah, it's like lower, because like you look look at the wings. So she's more like a, kind of like um, well like an actual angel, right? Or a gargoyle, because gargoyles like to have their wings up like that, right? But yeah, she has the wings lower. So yeah. Still has her tail out with the yellow ribbon. Yep. Um Yeah, her outfit definitely is more on the conservative side too. So it looks like she like, you know, matured or grew up or some something, right? She's you know, she's a queen, right? You know, she's Queen Dizzy now. But I'm pretty sure like, I don't know, may, there may be some sort of fan service still somewhere in okay. one of her outros or something, or uh her attacks. I don't know. I kind of want to be that that dumbass to go up to uh um Kai and go like so you and her huh explain <laughs> in graphic details <laughs> for research research purposes yo <laughs> ah, so that's how robot Kai was made what what <laughs> say what what mm -hmm. <laughs> well sin yeah and then they have sin <laughs> I mean, and then it's like also, how old is she right now? Yeah, good question. S six or seven, because right. what was it? In Exod, she was five years Holy old, right? Holy shit. Oh, yeah, this, this is the full render art. God damn. That's... Uh... Okay, I, I, I like the devil. I don't like the angel. Mm. Iteration. This I like her exerts angel um, iteration. Mm -hmm. And why is that? Because eh. yeah, the symbol behind the head is supposed to be holy, but I don't know. I I think I'm kind kind of that design of I want it kind of be on the nose. You know. Hmm. For the angel side, mm -hmm. half gear, and then the okay. sorry, go ahead. And then again for the devil side, it, it, there it is. See, I like the angel side, how it looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, like it look, it looks more. Um, I like, I like the demon mystical. side too. Like too. That, 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 yeah. Mm hmm. Cause yeah, something something went on with these two. Something happened. Um, hmm. Zato, um, got, got to talking. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. That, that, that actually, the devil side, the devil side almost looks like Zato or Eddie. Eddie. Yeah. More like Eddie. Yeah. yeah. For sure. I know she, she got them. She has the, um, a symbiote. 
she has yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they're fading away maybe that's why they're like like, like this She's like transcending or something, or something is happening. She's like kind of like because she's less of a fighter or something. Maybe that's why they're fading away. So that's why you don't see as much. No, she, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll piggyback on that. She's Andy right now. She's looking at them. I don't want to play with you. Oh, now. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Let me see. Uh, half gear uh, human hybrid. Um, nice yeah, Frederick. Yeah, Frederick is was. Uh, excuse me. Um, Frederick was that soul's real name, and then gear, and then yes, um, he becomes soul. Kai is the husband. Yes, yeah, Sin is the son. Yes, that's obvious. Yeah. But, uh, I said it before and I said it again. I'm still a little disappointed of this um, season of uh, Guilty Gear that we don't have our um, one shot kills yet. Oh, the the, the insta kill. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, okay, so yeah, so the ne their names are Necro and Undine. Um,. Two sentient shape shifting wings that are her defense systems able to act independently of her will uh, should they perceive any danger. Um, oh god. Um, Showing that it is possible for Necro and Undine to possess Dizzy if she at le is at least knocked out. After laying waste to several characters, Dizzy is finally cured, quote unquote, by Faust. Jeez. No, I'm gonna be that that idiot. <laughs> See, it's weird. See how, like, in the official art, they're they're switched. Yeah. In the, in game, they're... Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't know why that was a... Uh... A choice, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I'm going to be like that dumbass that... Like my friend. All right. Dizzy and, and Key. They, they alone together. Was Necro and Undane fucking conscious and watching? I don't know, man. Because, again, I'll bring up my friend because he was an idiot for saying that. Was Kurama watching while Naruto and Hinata was like, please don't? Oh my god. <laughs> He's like, shut up. <laughs> Go look at a hentai site for that, for your answer. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, that was her time when she was a jellyfish pirate. I remember that. You know when there's art concepts or like official art like that? Mm -hmm. I wish more fighting games or games in general would, you know, just have those little um, costumes. Yeah, see, this is this is uh, from the story mode in Strive. And that looks more of like the this that we know, right here, yeah. right because the hair and stuff. And it is a close up of that from I think this is from the DLC update. Sorry, if I'm not. I can see through, see in your soul. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It looks like they like pretty much recycled the model from uh Exer and it kind of like black, and then they took the time or in the background they took the time to um redesign her a little bit yeah and mostly yeah of course it's like the hair and the uh outfit and of course her her wings quote unquote her sentient wings all right so there is that uh for realsies yep. pretty cool so far 
uh, and are doing a, a good job, um, you know, uh, keeping it fresh with uh, mostly most characters. Yep, most characters. Yes. Mm -hmm. At least, yeah. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's head on to the front line side of things. So let's go ahead and blast. Uh, where's it? Where's it? Where's the? I swear it was here. Are you serious? Is it like not on the soundboard thing? This man, they gotta work on that. Oh, right here. I right, got it. Oh, uh oh, something happened. You lost it. Something happened. Oh no. I'm hitting it. Let me see. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> that was kind of cool, actually. <laughs> Unintention. <laughs> so let me help. Yeah. <laughs> Press all of the buttons. Mm -hmm. Wait, can we hit two sounds at the same time? Let me see. Oh, we can. I thought we, it's only like one. Huh. That was... Huh. Oh, wait. <laughs> This battle is about yes. to explode. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Damn, Megatron really wants to fight that new challenger. <laughs> it's like, who is it? Who is it? Yes. See, Optimus is Optimus. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just walks away. He cheats. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I All got right. an idea. Oh, that's right cool. Back. That's Arnie. <laughs> no, that's it, Arnie again. Yeah. Yeah, you got the two dads fighting. <laughs> All right. Now, you just see me like... <laughs> yep, no, you, you have... The one who wins, I'm going to have fun. You have the, the, you know, you have the popcorn and then the 3D glasses. <laughs> For whatever reason. You know, you'd be like screaming, they're right there. Why do you need those glasses? I can't see. <laughs> I cannot see. <laughs> It's and it's like the the red and the red and blue ones. Remember those? Blue one, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the classic. That's how 3D was done back then. <laughs> All right. If one didn't uh, believe. Anyway, so uh, you you have you seen the hippo? You know that the the, the, the you know. Oh yeah, Mundane. Mundane, yeah. yeah. So cute. On 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 Twitter, yeah. Very I'm cute, talking. obviously. Um, yeah kind of acts like a menace uh here and there right and because of how uh oddly popular this baby dwarf hippo is um at least at one point um this minion i guess of the hippo cat uh, calf hippo or hippo calf um was very popular it, like spiked in popularity and the price i guess in gills in Final Fantasy fourteen, uh, have you did you uh, see that yourself or? Yep, that thing was cheap as dirt, and then now it's fucking <laughs> at least half a mil on my server. Dang, half a mil, huh? Wow. Well, it's because um, well, you can get it yourself in a dungeon run, but it has such a small ass drop rate. So yes, okay. Give and take. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, at least it's in the uh, in-game currency, so that's fine. But yeah, that's interesting though to see like how like the in-game economy works at times. Kind of pretty similar with how real life works, right? But yeah, um, you know, I just wonder how much people will follow this hippo hippo once it becomes an adult, right? Um, not that I think the I think these species of hippo aren't too big so maybe it'll retain that cuteness i guess but i mean i don't know just look at the mom right you'll get an idea of how big um mudang can become um and it's funny because mudang has a a quote-unquote twin sister or whatever or just or sister and um i i don't know why the the sister isn't getting as much spotlight it's mudang is getting all the, the all the the popularity I don't know. Maybe it's the way she acts or something. I don't know. I have no idea. But it's a cute hippo. I'll give it that. 
Very, very adorable. I wonder if uh, her teeth have come in or set in or whatever. Um. Oh yeah, and it's a it's a it's a dwarf hippo that uh, is in um. Thailand, I believe. Yeah, yeah, Thailand. Thailand. Mm-hmm. Apparent. Oh, I didn't even know this. I uh, apparently she's e even like in the uh. Uh. Oh no no this is in Pennsylvania, that's weird. Okay so yeah so, really goes to show how oddly popular this hippo has become around the world, all from Thailand you know. Yeah there's a there's the hippo right there this this is the I believe this is the actual account, for the 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 zoo, that has um Mudang. Yeah, <laughs> just. <I got> <laughs> <laughs> I am beautiful. Yes. That's, yes. <laughs> yes. For anyone who don't know that fucking picture, where it's from, go watch fucking Sunny. Always Sunny in Dale Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Just fucking watch that shit. It's gonna change your life. No, it's, it's really funny. It's actually really funny, yeah. It's gonna make you love Danny the Beetle even more. I, yeah, I used to watch it uh, quite a bit with um, Josh and Todd. They're they're like watching, they're like binging at the time. So I just happened yeah, to watch. Yeah, you it. guys were binging that shit. Yeah, they they were binging. I just happened to be there like a lot of times, so I just watched it along with them. And then uh, I saw I the think... scene. Sorry, I I, I watched the scene. I watched the part when they were beating up the kids, <laughs> like beating the shambles kids. And I think I, right after that, I uh, I I, I um dropped off the the train but yeah yeah sorry what are you saying i think for like a, a week straight you guys yeah no it was a... kind of you guys were just quoting that damn thing i think so and then there was that one i forgot what happened i think it was like they were playing something and i think it was josh and he's like saying something and then all of a sudden he's like so anyways i start blasting yeah. <laughs> and I was like, mm -hmm. what the fuck are you doing <laughs> There's oh yeah yeah there's the mom, there's some random monkey right there. <laughs> That's funny. Eat it, eat the monkey. <laughs> Is there a sound? No, there's no sound. Oh my god, she's <laughs> damn man, she's feisty. <laughs> yeah. She she literally has all she literally is all bark no teeth. <laughs> yeah. Even I mean even adult dwarf hippos are pretty big looking. They're kind of like uh like cows. Almost. Yeah. But they they but, still cause more deaths in Africa than like lions. Oh yeah, lions. Yeah. Well, th well, those are the the big hippos. Yeah. Yeah. Big fucking hippos. Yeah. Those are the ones you don't want to fuck with, especially like their kid. <laughs> fucking <laughs> feisty. Uh. <laughs> God damn. Chainsaw man and then fucking the hippo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright. The meme the meme game is definitely uh very strong, I guess. Oh my god. Someone has a tattoo of a of the hippo. Right on the uh Oh my right <laughs> what, is, what is happening? It, with this Oh, I mean, obviously this is AI, but yeah. Oh my god, I didn't... I did not think I'd see that. <laughs> Mudang wakes up, moisturized, and chooses violence. <laughs> I'll fight you and bite you, you bitch. <laughs> He's like biting with wow. no teeth. 
my mom look look i'm winning yeah, yeah sure whatever <laughs> right, I, I love how the mom's like giving no shits <laughs> yeah look feisty feisty little little hippo maybe that's why she's popular she just gnaws at things and just <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen I've seen the uh the, the zookeepers like just like slap their butt. Yeah. Yeah, see. Not into it, a butt slap. Yeah, she loves the water. She wants that H two O. Moisturize me. Yeah, moisturize, yeah. But nowhere the mom gives any shits about whenever the uh, the baby just goes crazy, feisty. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. Someone said that, pretty much said, said the same thing. One one thing you can be sure of is that the mom here is here to eat and gives no fucks. <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah. Anyway, so yeah, the hippo is just very popular right now. It's like one of those like internet sensation things. Kind of like Harambe, right? Back in the day, until unfortunately, you know, Harambe. Harambe, which... um, piano cat. Yeah, the piano cat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the honey badger because of um that one dude, and then um, uh, capybaras were kind of like, kind of like getting there because of um Genshin. Funny enough. Because there, there are capybaras in Natlin right now. And then there's also that um, one marsupial. So it, it's not a golfer, but it, it, it smiles with you. Oh, I know. Okay, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's called a wom... It's not a wombat. Is it a wombat? I don't know. I forget. Anyway. um, There's that one, and then... Um, I feel like I'm missing something, but yeah, anyway. Japan has its own, like, fair share of, like, popular animals or whatever. Like, um, there's a Komodo dragon in Nagoya named Taro. And, um, they're, like, kind of, like, pushing it, pushing this Komodo dragon to be, like, you know, popular or whatever. Um, at the, uh, the zoo that we used to go at all, the, um, all the time when we were kids. Uh, me and my sister were kids. We went to this particular zoo. Uh, that's in uh, Higashiyama. Uh, Higashiyama uh, Zoo is actually like one of the popular zoos around Japan or in Japan, excuse me. And um, yeah, uh, right now um, they have that said Komodo dragon as well. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, people like animals. That's just um, the gist of that for sure. Uh, okay, so. Um, we'll see what happens with Mudang, whether, um, they keep, like, popularizing it or not once it is, uh, becomes an adult. But meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, meanwhile in the of Doom. yeah, oh, well, it's funny because we, we have DC right here, right? So Marvel and DC apparently have lost a trademark for the word superhero. Um, that one, I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> Right, because I'm sure they're like making content, right, or they're doing something with that mm. thing. But I don't know. Is it just too expensive or something to maintain the the trademark or something, or how 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 did this come to be? Right, like I don't know. According to discussing film, anyway. Um. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, because um. What was it? Uh, no more hero. No more heroes. Three. They use the word mm. superhero, so I don't know. Like, how does that work? You know, it, or or was that was it was it already lost then? Because they didn't go after uh, Suda Fifty One. Because they were like, oh shit, you know, we we lost our trademark. We can't do anything. Yeah. Everything's not awesome. <laughs> I mean, um, I do I do remember. Um, something like this being a thing. I know mutant was the word exclusively for, um, what was it? MCU, right? 
or something? No, no, no. It was, it was for well, um, the word mutant was century, right? Was for was for um, twenty twenty first century, but yeah. for like actual mutants of the X Men and stuff. Pretty much, they they wanted to try to get away from mutants because they. At the time, Marvel was thinking mutants was like their crutch because you know they kept relying on the X Men and stuff. So that's why they made the. Uh, well, I'm I'm just giving you like the shorter um, uh, explanation mm-hmm. of why why the um, the Inhumans were made was to kind of like move away from the X Men and then in the Inhumans fucking was a bomb. It was a yeah. disaster. So yeah, they said, "Oh fuck it, got it." Mm-hmm. I use the crutch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, got it. Well, either way, I guess they lost the word superheroes. So I saw this um, quote tweet from the boys, you know, the actual boys account. And <laughs> it's on Lander's face. <laughs> yeah, because, like, they, they, you know, they exclusively use the word soup, you know, to. Yeah, refer- soups. Yeah, soups. I mean, same thing with. Um- uh, in- the Incredibles. The Incredibles, they're not yeah. Super superheroes. They call um soups. Yeah, supers. The, the supers, yeah, supers. Um. Nah, I think I think even even if the trademark is completely off, I'm still gonna uh, call them soups. Gonna, yeah, yeah, people are gonna call them soup superheroes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, it's the same thing like, um, not trademark, but, you know, the name. It's so synonymous and engraved, in, embedded to, you know, our lives already. We're, we're not going to call it anything different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, we might call it like every now and then, but um, like for a name, um, to give an example, fucking... McCree. I used to call him McCree. You guys can call him Cassidy for all I care, right? Yeah. I knew him from fucking McCree in Overwatch 1, so... Yeah. And then if someone comes up, well, you're you're saying the guy's name that did this and this, and it's like... I can separate the damn thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Why can't you? Right. <laughs> no, I get it. I, no, I totally get it. I totally get it. Just, uh... You know, yeah, it's ingrained to... In our, you know, um, repertoire that, yeah, like we're gonna, we're still gonna call them soups, right? For for um, the boys, and then, but when it comes to Marvel and DC, yeah, they're, I, I mean, sure, they're, they're they're still gonna be called superheroes, but it's just that now everyone else can use the word, I guess, without the possibility of being infringed, right, or whatever, or f- being faced some sort of infringement charge or sue or whatever the fuck kind of like what um you know unfortunately what nintendo slash pokemon company are doing with um with pocket pair i believe right or pocket pal i forget i forget the company's name but yeah but but the um, pal world right specifically specifically because of pal world um they're exercising their pen i guess their pen rights or whatever you call it uh, like, hey, you know, this particular process is our gameplay mechanic, or whatever. You can't do that, blah, blah, blah. Or that, that's at least that's what they're trying to argue anyway. Um, but anyway, yeah, so um, interesting that it expired. Yeah, I, I'm not sure why they are not bothering with just renewing it anymore. Is it because just they kind of just like don't care about anymore or um they just don't care about the superhero movie trend as much anymore or you know i i i I do understand with warner brothers right because warner brothers are kind of they're kind of in a shithole still you know (laughs) so i can kind of see their angle of why they're they are not trying to keep the trademark right because i'm sure i imagine that takes money yeah. yeah, it takes money and it also takes revenue of like how much you're making. Like before, you know, the whole thing was like Marvel, they do well in the live action, but sketchy on their anim- animated movies mm-hmm. or some of their, their shows. 
DC was always the pioneer, you know, not pioneer, but they were strong in the animated movies. But mm -hmm. when it came to live action, they fucking yeah, they're pretty awful. Lacking, yeah, lacking, or they but weren't now, as good. Yeah, I, for sure. But now it's like DC sucks in both, and Marvel is like sucking in both. But mm -hmm. there's that small little gem for their live action, so it, it's like there, there, there's they're something. trying. Yeah, there's something. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know what else more they can do with, on DC side, because I swear, like, every time they try to make an, a new DC movie, it, it either starts off well, like, ooh, I'm interested, and then all of a sudden it's like, wait, this, you know, like, you're watching it, and you're like, wait, this this looks familiar. Mm -hmm. Flash, we need you to run, run really fast. I'm like, oh my god, it's Flashpoint. Yeah. Like, I swear, that is DC's answer for everything. Yeah, just Flash. All right, Flash, do this. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a Flashpoint again. Yeah. It's like, why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not to mention, like, how much, like, you know, there's, there's so much, like, stuff going on with, uh, especially with Ezra Miller and, like, um, just, like, the, the extra stuff that's, like, on top of that, you know? You know, the cherry, the the, the shit, cher the shit cherries on that on top of it. Which yeah. again, it, it's just dumb that it's like, hey, we're we don't know how to um close, you know, close this shit. What yeah. do we do, Bob? Flashpoint. Yeah. It is a bit of it's a quite of a a shithole. Um, as of the uh, at the moment uh which kind of explains a bit of a tangent here but sort of related uh with warner brothers because they own discovery i believe right and then discovery mm -hmm. uh has mm -hmm. uh battle bots under the belt and they haven't done shit with battle bots because of what's going on with warner brothers so you know kind of explains the lack of a season an official season for battle bots but um battle bots like the people who actually work on battle bots are taking it with in their own hands and then um they're like filming stuff for the youtube side of things yep. so now yeah so now um uh, yeah they're doing something about that part but yeah but the fact that they don't they don't really have like a, an official production because of what's been what's been going on with warner brothers is just again like a in a shithole type of situation um so that kind of like further drives that point home. Who else is in, kind of in the shithole right now? Seems like is Ubisoft. Um, Ubisoft. I don't know if you heard this uh, recently, Zawa, but um, there is a consideration of a buyout on Ubisoft, and by who? You ask. Uh, Tencent, of course, by all uh, of all companies, right? One of the com big yeah. big companies that are you know making a lot of games and stuff like that um kind of associated with like you know money corporation but also gaming as well um yeah, yeah apparently according to kami um the com okay the company ubisoft has lost more than half of its market value this year alone like jesus man because of what's been going on um i think it's just been pumping out not enough like just good games right and on top of that uh there's that whole thing with um assassin's creed shadows right the whole yep. mess that's been going on with the whole yasuke thing and just how japanese fans aren't liking it you know and all the quote-unquote wokeness and all that situation all that jazz right um you know and not to mention right all this ubisoft stuff that's been going on too like um like allegedly right they've, they've also been under fire for the um allegations of like you know miscon sexual misconduct and not you know just the just like the mistreatment on their employees especially women and, and um people like to like theorize that you know yasuke was the main character because they wanted to kind of like um do like a red herring on the fact right um like hey we're diverse or whatever we, we like diversity blah, blah blah like look at us we're not a bunch of bad guys or whatever but um, i know that 
to piggyback on that, I really don't like when people have to, you know, say out loud or think or companies to say like we're diversity. It's like okay, you don't need to shout it. Right, right. Show yeah. it mm-hmm. and, and and move on. Right. Just Yeah, you know, so there's that stuff too. And so what's gonna happen with Ubisoft at this point? We don't know, right? So that's why um a number of companies, including Tencent, are looking at them like, hmm, we could probably use these assets, hmm, because they're not doing anything cool with them, right? Including Assassin's Creed, you got Rayman, right? Uh, Splinter Cell, uh, what's another Ubisoft thing? Um, Beyond Good and Evil, right? Where's that been? You know? Um, you know, so on and so forth. Yep. So, yeah, I, I think at this point, it's like, all right, man, let's do what they what they got to do and we'll see what happens. I mean, I've never been like a huge Ubisoft guy myself. I just happen to play Ubisoft games like Far Cry and stuff yeah. like that. But um, I've never been like, oh, I'm a Ubisoft guy. Like I would consider myself like a Nintendo guy. Like I feel like I'm a, more of a t- n- n- Nintendo guy. And, you know, um, than anything else, really, especially in the past. Um, though nowadays, I mean, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. like back then, um, I was a, uh, what's my call? I was a Nintendo guy. And then, you know, once the early 2000s came around, um, Went to PS, PlayStation, you know, PS2 right. and stuff. Yeah. I I was, I am not a uh, Xbox um, person. I, I would play Xbox when I yeah. was at my, like, cousin's house and stuff. That's literally how I played Xbox. <laughs> it was, like, other people's Xboxes. <laughs> yeah. Until, you know, like, uh, <laughs> you were introduced to, um, at a young age, everyone, young age. Xbox lobby. Yes. Yeah. Of of the lovely game series called COD. COD, yeah. I mean that that, that, that lobby that lobby fucking shaped you. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. I mean weren't Halo why, like, lobbies look kinda like that too? Halo lobbies were kinda toxic, yes. Yes. To an extent, but but Call of Duty was like a the next step or whatever. The next you know chapter in that call book. Of duty, yeah call call of duty toxic lobbies were fun to listen to but if you are the one they all targeting I've, and, yeah, yeah i've never ever partaken in that in that sort of stuff like they they call no i know they call my name out but i've never talked to them like no fuck that i'm not i'm okay. not giving you my time like okay. fuck that absolutely not you know they get mad at me for like, beating their ass in Call of Duty and like, or oh, you know, yeah, like, yeah. quick, 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 quick camping, blah, 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 like all that shit, yeah. you know? Yeah, and that's why, like, when I watch, like, my cousin's kids play, like, Fortnite and, you know, they're on their fucking, like, comps mm-hmm. and they're, and they're like, like, you can hear the bicker, but it's like, wow, that's it? That's mm-hmm. all this person has to say, really? Yeah. Well, like, there's nothing here. Give me that mic, and you say something like mm-hmm. you would say back then in the Call of Duty, and they start crying on the other end. It's like, oh shit, man, that was a little too much. Sorry. Mm. Your, your mom's not not gay or dead <laughs> yet. <laughs> uh, Which again, that, that was like that was the end there for every fucking call, call um like shit just calling someone else's mom's gay and then that was it yeah yeah uh, some something was something something gay something something your mom your mom is something something like it's i don't know mm-hmm. yeah some some shit like that yeah and then you know the voice right like you, you can just tell like oh my god this is a kid like yeah like i i'm i'm surprised by the amount of kids doing that too during the during that time during know, that time yeah god yeah. yeah or it's it's so funny like those little kids let's say they were doing like a five like a five kill streak and you're the one that killed them they just go on a freaking 
tantrum and yeah you're no, just no, like no. you're 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 laughing and dying but you cannot like help yourself because you're laughing because the kids is just, just having a full-on tantrum yeah 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 no, like the, the are you ruined my kill stream that... i'm gonna fuck it up i do i'm like oh my god <laughs> yeah i think one of those any of those games those competitive fps games always needs to have the death mic right so basically you know every time you you, you shoot them you can hear them for like what five five or three seconds and and then like um that's like gold you know a, a potential gold right there because yeah. it, like whenever you get that you keep getting that one player like you know especially the kid there's like <gasps> <laughs> i'm like jesus <laughs> christ <laughs> um there, there was like one guy like he was on team chat and every time he died he would fucking moan mm -hmm. no, like, i don't know yeah anything in that it was like bang and it was like oh any, any and we're like yeah we're like we're like this is like Shh. You, you okay yeah they shot me in the ass oh, oh okay well there's there's that and then of course you have the racism that was oh, oh man <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the racism. Ooh. My favorite one on the mic, on the mic, never fails to make me laugh. Is you knew it was always that one player. For some reason, his street is always blasting either fucking music, the music, or cars just cars just zooming the, by, like the yard the... Or, the, or like yard work or like um, yeah, mm -hmm. yard work. Their mom talking to them like, hey, like you, you, know, you know, you better get off of it. Yeah, yeah, like so. <laughs> you know what time it is at this. Point? <laughs> yeah, no, I, no, it's so funny when you hear their mom or their dad like fucking argue with them. It's funny. Or there was this one match. I guess the kid's parents were getting at it. Yeah. And, you know, we, we try to ignore it. Like, you know, we try to kill everybody else, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, the fighting stopped. And we were just listening to the kids, uh, like, parents fighting. And we're like, mm -hmm. we pretty much put our difference aside. We're just consoling the kid. Like, hey, you know, shit happened. Just... <laughs> mm -hmm. And and then someone on the other team was like, maybe you should mute your mic for now. Like. This is not our business to hear that. <laughs> we, we can like either, you know, get off the game or go to a corner and just stay there. Mm -hmm. and just stay in a crouch position so we know that's you and we are not going to attack you. Mm -hmm. And that was like the only time I ever seen such com camaraderie. And then, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to like see um, <laughs> oh, all the other stuff that we possibly missed. Um, oh my God, they made <laughs> they made the Charlie's Angels game. Oh man. Oh they, yeah, the the dance games. Uh, they definitely make those for sure. Like every goddamn year. Um, yeah, Far Cry. I think we already talked about that. Rayman, of course. Um. Let me see. Yeah, Tom Clancy stuff. Yeah, yeah, all the Tom Clancy stuff, uh, including Ghost Recon, The Division, Rainbow Six, um, a bunch of that stuff for sure. And yeah, I think that's it for the major stuff. And of course, all the all, all the Assassin's Creeds. If you haven't said it already, Assassin's Creed, mm -hmm. Assassin, yeah. Um. Yeah, so we'll see what happens of what becomes of that company. And I just looked at their uh, stock price too. Look at this, like three dollars a share. Three dollars a share, man. That's dirt cheap. Maybe I should buy it right now. No. <laughs> Maybe, huh? <laughs> and it once like they get bought out and they do good again eventually then yeah sell out you know sell it out 
But that's all. Yeah, but, but, but I think that's what's happening. That's why companies are like looking at the um, Ubisoft. They're like, ooh, we got a got an opportunity on our hands, you know. But yeah, I'm pretty sure like people are considering uh, other people, like average Joes, are considering buying their stock right now because of how cheap it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. As someone who has kind of dabbled into the stock market a little bit, I haven't I haven't sold my shares yet. Like at at um to this very day, I could have. I think the 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 my portfolio, the highest it reached was like twelve hundred. So I was like, eh, all right. It's like, eh, you know, it's all right. It's all right. It's, I mean, obviously, it's like money is money, but it's like, it's not the biggest. Not a loss or anything, but it's not a big deal. I I feel, um, yeah, you like you should be, um, not the just happy what you're gonna get. Like you don't want to break the bank. You you yeah. just want to just make sure that you have enough to a point where you can go like, yeah, I can go sell it now. Right. Uh, the only stocks that I have is be is through my grandfather who put stocks in like companies that you know you know they'll do well even though they hit they will hit the shitter like for that one year or two so that's why we have yeah. we have stocks in with disney so mm -hmm. it's like yeah so yeah. and that's again like how i told my friend who was doing st um getting into stocks during COVID time I'm yeah like, he's like do what do i how do you do stocks and i was like okay there's two ways you either just pick a company and then just buy a stock and let it grow or you pick a small to medium sized um, company, let that stock grow, sell it, um, yeah. gain gain whatever profits, put half in your bank, and then half and throw half back in in mm -hmm. the water. Right? In the water, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then, and then you do the whole cycle again. And then there's the dividends, right? And then you know, the yeah, right? there are there are companies that are just there for the dividends, so you don't want to sell those, but. Um... Yeah, you kind of just keep buying them, ideally, uh, to to increase your dividends and stuff like that. But yeah, that's a whole nother talk. So either way, Ubisoft is kind of like in, also in that sort of sh shitty situation. Um, unfortunate for the games and, of course, for the people who actually work on those games. But, you know, like, of course, you, you got the big corporate people running this shit. That's who it's like yeah this is what you get right this is what you deserve for not being um on point with this stuff mm -hmm. right and uh, unfortunate that the developers right the actual individual developers have to you know kind of pay for that too in a way they have to be a part of that because of their uh because of what they don't control right so we'll see We'll see what happens if they get bought out then that's that right yes uh this one lastly for frontline news is uh pretty unfortunate uh in the anime side of things anime slash manga well excuse me anime um more specifically on one piece right and more specifically even that with frankie frankie's voice actor or seiyu um kazuki yao who has been voicing Frankie ever since his, uh, Frankie's debut. But even before that, within One Piece, has, he has done Django and uh, Bon Clay. Mr. Two Bon Clay. Bon Chan. Um, also has voiced a number of other characters uh, before that, of course. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Including Tiger from Monster Rancher, which is very, very odd. Right. Do you remember Tiger? It's the blue wolf with the horns. <sighs> yes so he is the Japanese voice for um for Tiger so it's like it's so weird because you can hear Frankie through Tiger and Tiger is supposed to be like that the cool guy right in, in the group so it's like very it's that's it, it is really funny in that sense but either way great voice actor very very unique voice right it's it's like very um it's one of those voices that you can't really like replicate you know, no, even in, like in Japanese, in the Japanese side of things, there's really no one else who can replicate it, right? And that's why he stands out like a, you know, a sore thumb in the best way possible. 
Unfortunately, he has been looks looking like um, facing health concerns or uh, health problems. So that's why uh, he has to step down for right now. Um, we don't know if this is like permanent or temporary, but he is going through some sort of health problem and hopefully he can get it uh, taken care of. Meanwhile, right. Um, and during that time, who will be taking over for uh, Frankie uh, or to, t to voice Frankie is Wataru Tagagi, who has voiced um, Bellamy within One Piece, but um, another voice actor with a, a, a pretty iconic voice, um, voiced a, no a number of like those like bully characters, kind of like uh, a little more like brash, if you will. Including what's his name? I, I forget his name from um, JoJo, but he uh, he throws the he he has like the baseball or something. Um, he he kind of dresses like a like the like a high school punk. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um. Oh. Uh, if you're talking about part four, there does he have a pompadour or no? He has short hair. He have a... Okay, you must be talking about Okuyatsu. Uh, just put um JoJo Part Four um Okuyatsu. Is it start with the B? Or O? No. Is it O? O. Oh, okay. 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 Uh... Yeah, Okuyatsu. Yeah, I think that's him. Yes, 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 yes. This guy. This guy. Yep. Yeah, he voices him, right? Uh, Takagi vo voices him, hmm. um, and then the lizard guy from that the, from that show you watched. Um, oh, uh, oh, fuck! It's been so long. Yeah, but yeah, uh, and Cayman was his name. Uh, Dora Hedoro. Hedoro, yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah. That one, and then um, uh, Onizuka. He 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 was Onizuka from GTO. So yeah, from long time ago. So um, so he yeah. From our ancient ancient times. Yeah, ancient times. Yeah. So he will he will be um stepping in to um voice Frankie. So. I can kind of already like kind of imagine basically hearing that voice for Frankie. Um, I mean, it's not not a bad replacement. I I don't think. But we'll see. No. Yeah. Um. But yeah, you know. Um. Hopefully, uh, we wish Yao San a speedy recovery. Yeah. Hopefully, you can get uh get that taken care of. Because uh, apparently I haven't I haven't watched all of One Piece yet. I have not caught up on the anime side of things. Cause so I I don't I haven't um noticed some certain changes in in Yao's voice. But apparently mm. um in a newer episode somewhere, um Frankie had some sort of like weird slurred speech or something. So people noticed that apparently. So I um that's where the health thing concerns came in. So I I mean I'm not sure because uh I don't know if you are caught up on the anime side of things. Are you for One Piece? Um, the last one I watched officially was um, oh, big upon getting chased down the hallway. That's my last official because I got you know distracted with other stuff. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, same here. I'm I'm trying to catch up on the anime side of things, but um, uh, I I I I heard I heard a puppy. <laughs> um, oh. let's say hi to your dog. That was not mine. Was that was that is that like a neighbor's dog or something? <laughs> no, cause the the one this way, um, it passed away. Oh, that's the one weird. over there. On the other side is um quiet as fuck like weird. I don't know. Like, you 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 could you could you know do an aerial fire firework and it would just do this. <laughs> the, 
<laughs> the uh, the Willem Dafoe like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like we we're tr- like my dogs would be like barking their asses off at the fireworks. That yeah. one on my neighbor's side, we like, yes. like, like yeah. is your dog alive? Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> book, book. Yeah. But anyway, um, I I didn't I haven't heard that yet. I guess uh, with the slurred speech thing, I was I was just wondering if you noticed anything at all with Frankie's voice as of late. As of late, no, not yet. So. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. So hopefully it's not serious for sure. Uh, obviously, yeah. Like, obviously, we want him to get back to it, but it kind of like also goes to show of how long One Piece has been going. Like, to it's like to the point where you know some people are just getting too old, or just like you know, um, starting show some sort of signs right of health concerns right right of course it's yeah quite, it's, it's pretty much almost getting to that point like a can you know like can we hurry up and get to the end because yeah some of these some of these uh actors they they, they as you said they're showing their age mm-hmm. pick up the pace yeah for the sake of just yeah like we don't want people would be replaced like if Zoro somehow um does something happen to um his voice actor I I oh man like I don't know I don't know man I think you would be kind of like gone for a bit yeah no I'd be uh, yeah that one would hit me quite a bit I I love that voice actor for, for you know I like obviously for Zoro but you know just in general right um yeah nakai san yeah if not if, if something will happen to him it's like oh man that's that's like because his voice is very iconic like that that's um zoro the, to me that like he is zoro you know and it's funny because um during the ova like the earliest one of the early ovas of one piece before it officially aired i guess uh Ta- tagagi san Takaki-san, excuse me, um, voiced Zoro. So he was like, he was like the kind of like the pilot Zoro voice actor. Oh. Yeah. So it was really weird to hear that voice, like the Onizuka voice through Zoro. So um, yeah, it was like one of those weird things. But yeah, obviously, again, um, hope, hope uh, Yao-san can recover. For sure. Hopefully, it's not a permanent thing, because it'd be it'd be a damn shame. Because he's also iconic in his own right with the voice. Because yeah. um, who's who, you know? I, I wonder if um, uh, Mister Two or excuse me, uh, Bong Clay will also have the, that same voice actor or have a different voice actor to uh, step in. We'll see. Alrighty. Um, we are now heading towards the games side of things. So I'm going to hit this. Oh. Looks like the, uh, the iPad is just not working right today. I think the Wi-Fi connection is a little off. Oh, there you go. See? Did you hit it or is that oh, okay? Well, either way, I did it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so so games news. Uh, Sakurai, yes, the guy behind Smash games and Kirby and all that stuff. Um, and I believe Pit. Right, all the, all the newer pit games, excuse me, is back into um, game dev now, I believe, or is <laughs> uh, back or soon to be back into game dev. Rather, he an, uh, announced his, according to Stealth, uh, announced his final recorded YouTube video that will be released uh, not too far from now, which is the October tw- uh, 15th, excuse me, 
planning a finale, quote unquote. Um, yeah, so he had a three year break from the Smash Brothers dev after uh, the dev cycle after Ultimate wrapped up. And now with t uh, the Switch 2, quote unquote, um, on the horizon, uh, it is believed that he'll be back to work on said video games. <laughs> fucking Coney. <laughs> fucking Coney. What is that? Is that an AI? What the fuck? Such a odd um, gif. It might be I'm a... Scared. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared, Dad. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, people say hopefully it's like Kid Icarus. Yeah. Um, some, some, uh, someone says uh, hopefully a port of Ultimate, which eh, it'll be kind of lame, but okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I get it. I get it, but okay. You know, kind of lame. Uh, yeah, Smash Ultimate Deluxe. Um, uh, I, I'm hoping for like a past Kirby game. Yeah. An actual Sakurai dev, yeah, uh, Kirby game. I mean, when what was the last? It was the last Kirby game that he made was the um. It was the yarn one, right? But it wasn't. Oh, uh, I th I thought that was that would be the air ride game. Not yarn. Um, Let me. It's see. the one that he turned into a car. I know that one was like his last one before he went the. On a well deserved break. Okay, let me see. So no. I don't see any any oh. anything Sakurai in the uh no, not not Epic Gone. It was um the Forgotten Land. There you go. Oh forgot okay, okay, hold on then. Um then there was the Dream Buffet and then um To Dreamland Deluxe. Mm, okay. I don't know why. Yeah, Forgotten Land. There, <laughs> um no, well, even the Forgotten Land, I don't, I, I, I believe, do not, I do not see the Sakurai, and then <laughs> um, the Sakurai, yeah, Dream Buffet. No, nope. I don't see his name either. And then Deluxe, obviously, um, yeah, I don't see his name at all. Star Allies, no. Um, um, let me see. Return to Dreamland. Let's see if anything shows up here. No, not there either. Uh, I'm just going to click on his name. Hold on. Or click, look up his name. I'm just going to just go ahead and see. Uh, damn it. It's not showing up immediately. Masahiro, there you go. Uh, works. Yeah, the last Kirby game actually is... Well, technically, yeah, Air Ride. I was right. He was well, as director, and then if you want to be technical, his special advisor, he did for uh, the mirror, right? the amazing mirror. But the air ride was the uh, the actual last one he actually directed. And then from there, it's just Smash and that one uh, Kid Icarus game for the 3DS, I believe, Uprising, and then just Smash Smash. No passing. <laughs> Just smashing, man. So, um, yeah. That's... That is that. But yeah, hopefully it is something... I, I, I want to see something else, honestly. Um, I want to see something else. Hopefully maybe some sort of Kid Icarus game or something new. Maybe back back to Kirby, but so uh, just anything anything not Smash to be honest, because I I want to see his other stuff. Yep. That is my honest two cents on that. So hopefully he'll be cooking something cool um down later down the line. Uh, 
we'll probably we'll probably see something i want to say in three years at the very earliest but that's like a very um i don't know like a shot in the dark kind of number yeah yeah all right uh last one kind of random uh steven spielberg apparently is a pc gamer and speaking of call of duty right he loves playing call of duty according to his son uh he uh, even he's the he's the asshole that's like mm. screaming at little kids <laughs> your mom's gay <laughs> your mom's gay <laughs> yeah that's funny that's i mean what what what, what do you say if steven spielberg says that your mom's gay do you feel insulted or you go well, no, I mean, you, you probably say something, <laughs> someone, someone's going to be that guy and probably say something like, uh, E.T. sucks or something or something. I don't know. <laughs> E.T. E. sucks. E. And then it will be, be so funny. you be like, yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know why it was overhyped. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, it just goes on the tangent, going, like, sounding really depressing. It's like, whoa, jeez, dude. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, just, just a little reminder. Yeah, Poltergeist, Gremlins, Back to the Future. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Um, geez, I'm it's fireworks going on in the background and, and, and on my side of things. Jesus fucking Christ, chill out. It was like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> like I can, I can hear it. Because my window's open. Yeah, Saving Private Ryan. Obviously, that's like one of the big ones. Um, Jurassic Park. Minority Report. AI. War of the Worlds. Uh, Munich. Amstead. Lincoln. Bridge of Spies. Adventures of Tintin. West Side Story. Uh, well, the newer one, I guess. Um, Fableman. Close counters of the third kind, E.T., Indiana Jones stuff. Yeah, what if what if he liked Indiana Jones like way better than E.T.? <laughs> he like treated the like E.T. like the um like the either the middle child or the, like the step kid or whatever. <laughs> um Color Purple, Emperor of the Sun or Empire of the Sun, excuse me. Yeah. A lot of movies, a lot of uh, good movies. Right back in, especially back in the day. But yeah, it's just so funny. Um, apparently, he even says or talks to his son, saying, "What are the new shooters? Which Call of Duty should I be playing?" <laughs> I mean, I can see, I can kind of see him as a PC gamer, but I, I would never ever thought he'd be a COD player. I I would imagine him playing. Um, more of like the weird, like, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like, I don't know. I guess like a build, like those building games or like those, like not Sims, but, um, it was like the, the right franchise for it. I don't know. Something, something, something not Call of Duty. I, I can definitely say that for sure. Like maybe like those simulator games. I, I kind of like imagine him playing more, but definitely not. Again, definitely not Call of Duty. Uh, what about you? Uh, what do you, what do you like when you look at Spielberg, right? right like as a gamer, like what do you think he would play? Fallout. <laughs> Fallout. I, I can kind of see that too because it's like very vast story-wise and such Hello. anything like you know those um adventure games like fallout um elder scrolls mm -hmm. probably baldur's gate maybe baldur's you gate know. yeah i can kind of see that too throw throw that little uh 
D and D. Yeah. D and D stuff in there. Yep. Alrighty. So we're coming up on the visual entertainment stuff already. So it's gonna go manually hit it on the actual soundboard here. Uh, what's a good movie? Ah, fuck it. I'll just do this. Actually, I should play this one. Because, um, there is a giant vinyl figure of Godzilla being sold for about $2,000 worth, but it's like a giant, like, 180 scale. So it has a height of 100 uh, centimeters, which is uh, about 3 foot, 3... 3.28 feet, I believe. So, pretty big boy for a figure. Yeah, you, you can see these, like, two Japanese women holding up the Godzilla figure. And it's uh, pretty big. That tail and I are going are gonna to go places. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty big boy. There we go. Buy it for me. Z yeah, right. In your fucking dreams. Tell your boyfriend that. I'm not your boyfriend. <laughs> oh, I mean, oh, look. You can do four four interest-free payments of 500 bucks. I mean, you know, that's... There goes your... Um... That's, that's actually good. <laughs> I mean, when you think of it, when it does do the payments like that, you know why? Like, why not, you know? Yeah, why not, right? Oh, it comes unpainted. Okay, okay, so you have to paint it yourself. Oh, never mind. I don't want it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, you can do your like Hanna Barbera Godzilla. This would be all like green and weird and shit, <laughs> and not have the authentic sounds. Because all it did was like, <laughs> it's like the generic hand of prepare sounds. <laughs> the mouth is, I don't know. I don't, f I'm going to be honest a little bit. I don't know how I feel about the mouth. Like, eh, maybe, maybe the front looks okay. The eyes are a little weird, but maybe, but maybe it's also because the fact that you have to paint it yourself, it, the eyes are going to be a little off. But, oh yeah, you can kind of see like the line, the connecting pieces too, like the lines. It's not like, you know, of course you can't, you, you can't ship it in one piece. That's nearly impossible for average dude. <laughs> Yeah, it's easy. Oh, wow. <laughs> you actually see the pieces. Like, damn. Okay. Look what they did to my boy. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Not colored, obviously. I mean, I think you can get away with just airbrushing it. Since it's kind of already getting there with the this base color. Airbrushing in some, like, add some, like, sort of wetness to it. With, like, I don't know. Um, not clear coating, but it's like, um, what would be the word for it? Some sort of like, like that wetting effect almost, but not so much. Uh, oh, this, there's a, I like this figure a little more, but the, it looks a little wide. <laughs> he looks pretty wide. I don't know. Why. He looks like he hit the, um, he, he looks like he hit KFC a little too much. You see that? Obviously, yeah. Went in Japan and hit that uh, KFC a little too much there. <laughs> Looks pretty wide. Somewhere, some someone's gonna say this Godzilla's too fat. It's like clearly, in all the in all fairness, this Godzilla does look look a little too fat <laughs> to to me anyway. And I love Heisei. More yeah. cushion for the pushing, goddammit. <laughs> True, I guess. 
That's a dad bod. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. You don't call them dad bods. They're father figures. <laughs> no, dad bods. <laughs> Come on, man. You, you gotta give me some sort of credit. Although, to be fair, I, I yeah, took that from, uh, to be fair, I took that from somebody else. But yeah, father yeah. figure. Come on, man. Come on. My Faja. Faja. My Faja. Faja. <laughs> Your what? <laughs> My Faja. That, that, it's Faja. Faja. Ah. <laughs> so pre orders close about two weeks from now. About 10 days ish. Um, expected delivery will be next year of August. Wow. So you don't even get to get it like immediately. Oh, this is supposed to be Bio Goji. Okay, okay. So it's supposed to be the Biolante Godzilla. Gotcha. Okay, maybe that's a little kind of why the face is a little, you know, kind of offish. A little bit. Um. Yeah, but either way, it's a big boy. Soft vinyl, unassembled, unpainted. I would kind of want to get uh have my hand at air brushing because um, I already have an air compressor, which is f more than enough to for air brushing. I just have to get like the um actual like what do you call those like the um airbrush tools or whatever you call them. and then some paint obviously to uh get all that effect going. But anywho, that's that. Big big ass Godzilla figure. <laughs> um Okay. This is one of the talks of the town if you're a uh, big Yakuza fan slash like a dragon fan. Okay. So this is the like a dragon Yakuza, the uh Amazon Prime series for um based off of the game. Which is which is out today, I believe. Is it out today? No, it's uh the twenty fourth. Oh, I'm making my fucking shit. There's so much shit coming out of October. Mm -hmm. You have Bleach season three. You have fucking Ranma that came out today. You yeah, had... that one came out today. You have fucking this one coming out in two weeks. Mm -hmm. Two now. weeks. Oh no. Um. Yeah, there's too much. October stuff is like yeah true. October is pretty much the um, what what do you call it? TV apocalypse. T yeah, TV apocalypse. Yeah, broke to it's it's basically broke October but for for, for uh, TV series stuff. So, all in all fairness. The only bad thing. I guess about this um, show is, I don't know, the controversy where no one, the producers or whatever, has never played. Oh, well, the, the actor. Yeah, the, I think the actors yeah. uh, never played the games. I think the writers and stuff like that have. Maybe. Uh, but. Yeah, but I, I want to think that, uh, <laughs> excuse me, uh, Ryoma, who's playing, um, Kiryu, um, played it. I want to say he did play the games, that one. But it's just going to be so hard seeing him playing Kiryu since he was originally a common. Yeah, a common writer. One of his, mm -hmm. Yeah, one of his latest. Mm hmm. Or people remember him as a common writer, so it's like, yeah, which is more funny because the common writer that he played was a cop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, that's funny. The iron cop right? slash detective. So mm. he's like, mm. yeah. But for like costume design for the. The tattoos? I wonder if they actually went to like current members and asked them, you know, like if this person is in at this position, what is their 
tattoo to symbol, you know, to say that yeah, I'm like second hit or um, um, the hit household. I'm sure there's some sort of expert who at some point did have a hand in these designs for the tattoos. I imagine anyway. I don't think they would actually go to the you know, some Yakuza gang members to, you know, get references or anything like that. Sure. Right. But uh But you never know, because there 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 could be like that one branch that's like semi open, like they will talk about it, but they're not gonna reveal everything. Right, right, of course, of course. Of course. I'm sure they're like historians and stuff that would have like more quote unquote or accurate enough accounts of oh yeah these tattoos are this or whatever or this these are how these are how our tattoo or how tattoos are whatever and stuff when it comes to yakuza relations but um a lot of at least on the japanese side of things my mom told me actually she um kind of looked into this a little bit that the Japanese fans aren't happy with this selection or casting for uh, Kiryu because, um, I don't know. I th I, from what I've gathered, like just doesn't have the same bravado that Kiryu has or like that image Kiryu has or, um, you know, so on and so forth. Yeah, this is Kiryu, I'm assuming. So, yeah. Yeah, that's Kiryu. Yeah. Yeah, Ryoma is playing Kiryu, but... I'm just gonna chalk it up that this is a origin. Mm -hmm. much yeah, you know, Kiryu was not fucking that ripped when he was starting. Well, one thing is ripped or anything. It's not that it's ripped or not ripped. It's just the face overall, yeah. and then where you know yeah, he's, you can say yeah, uh, he has he has the baby face. The baby face, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, but then when you really think about it, it's like okay, here we go again. People don't like what the casting choice. Then go play the games. This isn't, this clearly is not for you. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we're going to play that dance again. This is for, like, people on the outside who don't know the games. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, the, the same exact thing could be said for the One Piece live action. It's like, you know, hey, I mean, bro, if you hate it that much, then go just watch the anime or whatever, or just read the manga. Yeah, go watch right? the anime, mm -hmm. but, oh, <laughs> well, look at this. The reason why the live action Luffy looks like this is because they actually supposed to be from the well, world. They're, they're more likely are, are from this place, you know, like that kind yeah. of thing. If if they were to be in real world, they would be, they're most yeah, likely to come world. from this. Luffy. Yeah. 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 Luffy is from Brazil. Zoro's obviously from Japan. Mm -hmm. Fucking a lot of people at first thought Nico Robin was like from the Netherlands or that, not from russia or yeah she's supposed to be russian yeah yep yeah uh what was it frankie was supposed to be uh, it is no he's mark. american right yeah he was supposed to be american but from design wise he could have been like norway or something like yeah, that yeah no, it could have been anything because he's a he's a big old cartooning character so it could be anything but back onto this i mean i mean you know um I understand the opinion of the overall sort of consensus that, eh, not, not the greatest casting for Kiryu, which I'm more on that fence or whatever, or that side. It's like, but, you know, who else can, who, who else can be Kiryu at the given time or moment, right? Yeah, at the, at the time placement of where this series is taking place. Mm -hmm, yeah, like, this is supposed to be a, I think, I think at this point, if they're gonna do the whole Yakuza Zero part, then yeah, because at that time Zero uh, during Zero, Kiryu was around twenty. Yeah. So that's like young. So um, and yeah, you know, you kind of games or that sort of plot hole. Yeah, you know, games have that that little um uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Creative, creative, you know, liberty to say like yeah he he's 20 years old but he looks like a fucking 40 year old yeah exactly yeah it kind of I mean, like, just like old like mm, old no, american movies yeah. like back in the 80s mm. um yeah like like, in our teenagers the teenagers that we saw in movies yeah it's like wow we look like that in teenagers like no these 
people were like in their 30s yeah, yeah, playing yeah. teenagers yeah playing teenagers and it still yeah. happens to, happens to this day yeah fast times Fucking, ridgemont uh, high that's kind of yeah it's like literally like old people playing high school students <laughs> <laughs> or I was gonna say Greece. Greece was fucking like, yeah, Greece. Like a big, mm-hmm. Or for us, you know, Marvel fans or superhero fans, fucking Tobey Maguire was playing a fucking high school person. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was like, that that is not one fucking high school kid. That that's one fucking thirty year old who yeah. probably flunked all his classes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but um, you know. It is what it is. I mean, pe- pe- people don't like the casting. All right, fine, right? Mm-hmm. Um, at least everyone else seems to be cool. Uh, I mean, I like I-, I like Majima, the casting with Majima. I think that was um, a good match. Yeah, see? I mean, it- it- it's like that-, that thing, you know, like... It's like a- the side of a coin. If one side is bad, then the other side better look good. Or- right. Yeah. At least we have or Majima not- to kind of, like, carry that a little bit, or at least... And yeah, this actor is from uh, Godzilla minus one, by the way. Uh, he was the, the uh, um, Shikishima's captain, and he was also uh, the lead mechanic that repaired, you know, that one plane at the end. Mm-hmm. Um, that actor, or yeah, he played that character. So he's uh, now Majima here. So that's uh, kind of neat. Um. At least it's sort of like the violence and stuff like that is there. The tone is similar. But we'll see how everything else gets um or how, how everything else plays out in yeah, terms of just tone. It's not too lighthearted. Like we we kinda wanna see the violence. Yeah. Well or, not, mm-hmm. not not the violence that is done by the um by the organization and also by Majima, because I, I I kind of want to see, want to see it, but I don't want to see it. Like you know, like if Majima was about to like whack someone with his bat, mm-hmm. I kind of want to see see the camera go away, but we see the shadow. You know. Mm-hmm. Well, it all depends on the context. I think that's what really yeah. matters. Is I mean, it's not uh, uh, Majima for the most part. Like he has his reasonings of why he's like yeah. that. You know. But again, if they wanted to watch like an actual um Yakuza like like a dragon or a Yakuza movie, um just watch the what was it? Yeah, just watch the the two thousand the two thousand seven um movie. True. <laughs> true. They already did one. Yeah, they already did one. That is true. And it, it looked like if you watch it, it looks good. Yeah, the everything else looks like fine. Mind. Like the production and stuff like that looks fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, at least it doesn't look like um cheap or horrible looking or anything like that. It's like, yeah, it's like a legit series for with the Yakuza. I mean, at stuff. least at least his um Ryoma's hair for Kiryu is not a fucking wig. No. Like, holy shit, I would have been fucking like yeah, that would that would actually no. that would be like kind of the the cherry on top of the shitty Sunday. I mean, this is an Elseworld kind type of thing. It's not exactly like Zero or exactly like yeah. you know whatever because it's it's like it's gonna follow the some of the events, but it's yeah. gonna take some creative differences mm-hmm. to to make a beat of its own and not go yes. like one to one beat. Yeah, I mean, basically, like One Piece live action, like yeah, it's like they have these check marks, but they also do s- s- a lot of things differently. Because yeah, Garb shows up way fucking early, all that shit. Like that's a big change, you know. Um, like way early, you know. So you know stuff like that. And um, I wonder who else is going to show up, right? Like uh is uh what's his name uh nishikiyama gonna ne- show up i i don't know because nishikiyama was supposed to be uh Kiryu's best friend at the time before he kind of turned because a certain someone died and stuff like that i wonder if um haruka might show up like at the end of yeah the- like haruka yeah 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 
That too. Or if she shows up like in the middle of the series, I'd be like, wait, you're... <laughs> so you pick her up. You're a little too early. Mm -hmm. Go wait there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't think... Because Haruka was Yakuza 1, I believe. Oh, yeah. Zero was no. Like, um... That, that I don't think that happened, from what I can recall. But anywho, yeah. Um, I mean, again, like they could do creative liberties because this is pretty much an origin of um Kiryu. Yeah, it's an so elsewhere might... origin story of of Kiryu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they might maybe a uh, fucking. I mean, we don't need it, but because they're creative liberties, they might have some sort of way to show even though we don't need to know about it uh mizuki so haruka's mom mm -hmm. like what happened to her because all we heard from you know haruka is like i'm looking for my mom what happened to her i do not know <laughs> maybe some in between stuff mm, yeah possibly yeah. but i wonder if they'll even go that far as to like tease a little bit of uh, Ichiban you know being super young like a kid or something I don't know they do the whole um, what was it uh, Spider-Man thing where um, the little kid that Tony saved in what was it Iron Man 2 3 2 or 3 it, mm -hmm. it is Peter Parker uh -huh. Yeah, I like how you put Ichiban in show the restaurant. I was like, <laughs> the the restaurant, like, damn it! It's like you son of a bitch. I'm hungry now. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I, I'm doing this to myself too because I am hungry myself. Yeah, yeah. Let's hurry up. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so he, well, because uh, he is okay. He's 42. How old is uh, Kiryu in relation? I think he's 10 years older. I think. Kiryu is like 60. <laughs> oh, he's fifty-five. Okay, so I I was the closest. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, yeah, I said I said ten, so four. Yeah, so I was pretty close too. Um, yeah, forty-six. So he he'd be right at, right around uh ten years younger. So yeah, he'd be like a ten-year-old kid if he were to show up. That'd be pretty funny. But yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll watch it. I mean, it's on Amazon Prime, so I'll, yeah, fuck it. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. Yeah, I'll watch it. It's just that I'll, I'm going to be pissed off because I ain't, I ain't, sorry, Amazon. I ain't throwing fucking $10 more to fucking have no ads. Oh, yeah, that shit's stupid. That, that fucking, that, that is grueling. I am so sorry. Yeah. You know how everyone is, man. They're, all those companies. Once one does it, it's like, oh, we can do it too. I, I, I'm like, it's like I'm livid. Yeah. It's like, wow, it's getting to this good part in in the uh, in the show. Commercial was like, I, I kind of noticed with the boys. I'm like, oh my god. When I was rewatching the boys, the latest season, uh, at one point, and that shit was getting kind of annoying. That that's her. I the don't know. That, I'm not. I'm. I'm not. I'm not sure what's like. Like. Yeah. Like the girl that's hugging Kiryu in front of the fountain. I wonder if that's. Um. No, and that's what. Well, that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I wonder if that's the mom. I. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. Okay, let me. Let's just look up what the fucking Amazon Prime shit is all about. Uh, Haruka's mom. <laughs> uh, is dead. Well, I mean, at some point, yes. <laughs> and then at another point, Haruka's mom is alive. Like, oh, yeah, he, he, she is she is completely dead. <laughs> as Narada would say. <laughs> Ehashi Mishima is dead. <laughs> I live, bitch. <laughs> God. 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 Fuck. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I'm gonna get fired. <laughs> so uh my severance package. <laughs> About my severance package. <laughs> uh, you didn't see shit. You didn't hear shit. 
Okay, Yumi is in it. Okay, okay. So Yumi is. Uh, oh, that's the sister, isn't it? No. Uh. Okay. Yeah. So, she, I think, if I'm correct, she had a twin sister. I think I'm. 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 I'm probably mixing it with another character because there is another twin sister at some point. But yeah, no, she went by Mizuki. Also known as Mizuki Sawamura. So, yeah, it is her. So, Yumi is in it. The mom is in it. Yes. Um, yes, that happened. Um, so, we know, so, we know she's in it. it I'm is, just going to be like, when when I do, when we do see her, I'm just going to be like, that asshole. Mm-hmm. Being um the Red Queen from Resident Evil live action. You're, you're going to die here. <laughs> You're all gonna die down here. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, well, that's weird. Okay, wait, hold on. Um. Wait. Miho Nishikiyama. I don't remember. Okay, maybe that's late younger sister. Uh, um. Hmm. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. Okay. So that's Nishiki. Okay, so Nishikiyama is in here, but yeah, that's that's the the little sister that died um, even before the story began. Mm-hmm. Kazama Kazama is also in it too, because this that's um yeah this man right here that's the that's the um that was essentially like the father figure for Kiryu. He's like he was like um he was like he was kind of like a legend in uh within the the clans right he was kind of like a hitman sort of um who was really good at being one um yeah this guy essentially well he looks like Kazama but anyway oh no his is spinning image of his brother anyway yeah this guy. One, zero, yeah, that's zero right there. Two, oh, that's old two. There we go. Yeah. I believe he goes, or he passes on in one. Because I did play one. One. Um, so, yeah, Kazama is in it. This guy is new, so I don't know who he is. Makoto Date, that's the police guy or detective. So that's that's um this dude right here. He's been he's been here for a long time. He's like one of those like long running characters. He's a va- he's a vampire at this point. He's a vampire yeah, at this point. Yeah. Uh Reina? Oops. <laughs> it's just a generic Reina. Hold on. Um oops. Might be a new character, I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah, looks like. Oh, okay, I do remember her now. Okay, I I, I thought so. So she was she was um the bartender for uh Serena. That's where um Kiryu and Nishikiyama used to hang out a lot. And she was yeah she, she and but she was in love with Nishikiyama. But Nishikiyama had his eyes on somebody else. And then... Bastard. Be, yeah. Uh, and because of that, she did something. I forget. Um, I don't know if he, like... If she, like, sold him out or something. I forget what happens. Um, yeah, it says romantic interest slash friend for um, Nishikiyama. Uh... Okay, I think she's still alive. I'm not sure entirely what happens because it's been a long time. Mm. Um. Oh, okay, okay. So, okay, so here's what happened. Okay, so yeah, because she was in love with Nishikiyama, right? And he, I think he knew it, right? He was manipulating her to, uh, um, to give him information of what Kiryu has been doing. In the background. Yeah. And then so. um, And then uh, Kiryu finds out. 
yeah, and then um, shit happens. She, she she tries to atone and stuff like that. Um, let me see. Oh, okay. So she is dead. Okay. 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 Nishikiyama is killed, or Reina is killed by the Nishikiyama family. Uh, Sergeant Arase, who also kills Shinji. Yeah, Shinji was another character um, from one. Yeah. Okay. Jin Goda. Oh, he, yeah. Okay, so he's, the, he's the, um, the head of the Omi Alliance at the time. So that's not a new character. Koji Shindo. Also, er, not uh not a new character yeah he was a i think he was in two yeah he was in two yeah yeah yeah. there we go so there's that dojima yeah i think that's the guy with the sunglasses let me see yes this is the head this was the head of the um the tojo clan that's the that's the clan that has um Kiryu's like clan and all that stuff in it. And then the Flores of Psy is um essentially he's like um he's kind of like the eyes of Kamurocho because he has like all these like surveillance cameras and stuff like that. Yeah, he always dresses up like that. Like bathrobe and stuff like that or whatever. And he like he lives underground. He's just essentially like the he's like the 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 info guy almost, if you will. Like you go to him for like, you know, information or oh yeah, what happened to this or whatever, for like, yeah. Um, he's a he's a seller for information, so yeah, that's how he makes money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, mostly re, uh, actual characters. Some of them are new, so that's kind of neat. But yeah, I didn't expect for that for for it to be this much. But I'm a little disappointed that they didn't like include um the big three from zero, which is um yeah one he's one of them. So, uh, Awano, Shibu uh, Shibusawa, and Kuze. These guys um are like some of the most memorable parts for um zero, especially Kuze. Kuze is like. He's like the most um, popular villain within it. And by the way, yes, these all these three characters were um, played by iconic, iconic um, Yakuza actors. So that's why they're kind of like the big three in like more ways than one. So anywho, sorry about that. Um, Uh, okay, I can't really see their face for now. But anyway, so that's what we can look forward to um, for right now. Yeah, there's Ryoma, Ryoma Takeuchi. As Kiryu. Um, so we'll see how this plays out. Whether they can, uh, this will be a continuous thing or is this like a one shot thing? A one off origin story? Um, yeah, <laughs> that's funny. It, uh, the screenplay is done by Sean Crotch. And it's got my spelling, uh, uh the same spelling as my name, S-E-A-N and then Crotch. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a weird coincidence also weird thing <laughs> with the crotch anyway sorry about that um all right let's see okay so meanwhile sorry about that big tangent there but it's yakuza meanwhile questionable things are still happening in the entertainment side of things including a live action rugrats movie in the works but the babies, right? Babies, um, are CGI, and I imagine the adults are the uh, the live action um, 
you know, people or whatever, played, played by real actors, quote unquote. Uh, do you have a comment on this? Why and no, go away. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be like that weird effect almost kind of like with, um, remember, remember that one movie, uh, Looney Tunes back in action. It's was... either going to be like that, or it's going to be like that weird fucking, um, movie, um, baby genius. Oh my God. I, uh, I don't think I've yeah, ever watched that movie in full, but as a kid, I'm like, yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's as close as I think that a live action Rugrats might be. Yeah. When they see with CGI babies, like, then. Yeah, why? see, it's like, oh my God. I, ho I hope they don't, like, don't go through, like, the hyper realistic shit. That'd be so creepy. Like, kind of like with what happened with Sonic, the first Sonic 3D thing, and then they changed it. Or. What if it's like the CGI babies hyper, not really hyper realistic, but it's kind of like um fucking um, uh, what was it Beowulf, the you know that that movie? Oh wow, that's yeah, well, damn! I haven't heard that. What one. if they they yeah. went like that and then you know bringing up the Chippendale uh movie um? It's oh, like, why are you looking? I'm looking right at you, and his eyes are like crossed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I remember. I remember. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that part. Yeah. I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, it's just weird. I, I That's a, that's also a good question. It's like, are they going to like just go full cartoony or like try to make it realistic? Oh, he's, oh, he's so gross. Oh, no. No. Don't, don't make this movie at all. It's like, no. Or make a, a full CGI movie, but not live action what the fuck what ah uh. this is hurting me because <laughs> Rugrats was my shit for Nick yeah Rugrats I mean well okay for me Rugrats was always like I wasn't like a huge like diehard fan for it but it's like alright it's on it's on Nickelodeon I'll watch it you know it's a cartoon I'll watch it I'm more of like a Doug guy, you know, um, yeah, it was just Doug, right? Yeah. And Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold was such, was actually cool. Like that's, that's a cool cartoon to watch, right? For me, because of like the music and like that room Arnold had with the skylight and everything. That shit was cool. And he had like the remote control, for the remote for the, the, the roof. That shit was yeah. sick. Yeah. That's a dream room, you know? Um, and then uh, what do you call um, Kablam remember Kablam they had all those like random cartoons Ren and Stimpy I don't know how they got, got away with that but uh, yeah I watched that I, I actually like that show But Rugrats was like, yeah, it's the, it was. I do remember. It. I I did watch a good amount of it, but I was never like in love with it. You know, does that make sense? I watched it because it was just like, all right, it's there. You know. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I. Oh man, who who did that funny quote tweet? Um, let me see. How do you how do you look at a quote tweets? Let me see. Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> nah, yeah, no. <laughs> you, you see this? <laughs> this is a big fat no. <laughs> um. Yeah, that yeah, that's a perfect reaction gift, or gif. Excuse me. Where was it? It was like um someone just dropped a screenshot of Jack Black from. Uh, Minecraft, you know, like, you know, that movie that was just revealed recently ish. That was literally like, um, a good, like, sort of, uh, what do you call it? Like, a, like a, well, I guess a joke, but yeah. Damn it. I wish I had it. Yeah, he, he uh, Jack Black. Like they, they would have said like Jack Black as um Tommy Pickles. That would have been funny.
Well, okay. Well, since you you you, you definitely watch Rugrats, who was your favorite baby? Who was your favorite character? Did you have a favorite? For the Rugrats? Um, oh. Sorry. Anyways. <laughs> I mean, it's Tommy because... Um, yeah. The creators of Rugrats, they were huge Doctor Who fans. So they, they would hide like little Easter eggs and um, nods to Doctor Who. Tommy's screwdriver is a nod to the Doctor's screwdriver. Oh. In, in the show see i didn't know i didn't know i didn't know that i never i never caught yeah. any of those because i was never uh i never watched doctor who stuff i never like, like it was always yeah. tommy and chucky i like chucky chucky was like my closest thing to, or he was he was like my the closest thing to my favorite character yeah for sure i don't know why i don't know what it is i mean he, he was a coward but like yeah, yeah, you know he was essentially like tommy's best friend right yeah, and you have uh, Phil and Lil, right? The twins? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spike was the dog. Angelica, of course, right? Was Can't the, the bitch. Sh yeah, she, no, no, she was, she was like the sassy bitch. Yeah, for sure. The sassy like had, cousin. Then you had Su Susie. Susie, yeah. And then you had Dill. And then um, at one point, what's her face? Uh, Susan? Sue? She was like the Jap. She was a Japanese. She was like oh, a Kimi. Yeah. Is it Kimi? Oh, okay. Yeah. I I okay. I must I'm, um, I must be mixing it up with another Asian character. But yeah, um, from another show. But uh, yeah, um, her, she became uh Chucky's like adopted sister because of what happened with um uh with his with his mom or something i i forget the story it was like it was actually like kind of like sad because of what happened to his mom or chucky's mom right and then they, had, they went to um paris right remember that movie do you, do you remember that movie so which one the paris which um one? uh oh yeah Rugrats Rugrats in paris in paris yeah yeah, where I was like, wow, <laughs> French people are assholes. And then mm -hmm. My friend who was, at the time was a little bit French, she was like, no, only that that specific one. <laughs> I yeah. was like, what do you... <laughs> well, I think... Like, we're actually... She was like, we're actually nice. You know, French people are actually nice, but we do talk behind behind your back, <laughs> openly. <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> what? <laughs> we talk behind your back openly. <laughs> <laughs> wow okay so yeah so yeah there was that whole thing with chucky's mom because like, i know she she passed away or something like that it was like sad it was like an actual sad story behind that and then yep. chucky's dad fell in love with um that woman right with, and then with who, coco who was the fashion designer mm -hmm. and, and then, then kim's kim, mom and she's kim's mom extent. right so they, so they, so eventually, they, I guess they married, right? And then, yeah, they yeah. have, yeah, the whole step brother sister thing, yeah. Inter kind of, yeah. There's some lore with that one. Chucky has the lore. He, he's, he's like, yeah, for sure. Um, but anyway, so I question. I hope they're not ugly. Not that I'm gonna care that all that much because I'm not gonna watch it. it that this whole idea is stupid. Like, why? Why? I question it. Whatever. I pray to God that the, 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 these babies aren't ugly. One last thing, though. Um, I definitely lost interest in Rugrats once they did the whole all grown up thing. Yeah, all grown up. Yeah. I think a lot of people are like that. It's like weird seeing um. Uh, oh, what was his brother's name? Tommy's brother's name? Dale. Yeah. Oh, Dale. Dale yeah. Dale Pickles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dale. Like, you know, he can talk and stuff like that. He's all like, you know, he's whatever. He's like a normal kid. It's like, all right. It's kind of lamish. All right. But yeah, Reptar, man. Remember Reptar? Can't fuck with Reptar, man. Shh. <laughs> 
<laughs> you mean um, at the time Nickelodeon's uh, discount Godzilla? Yeah, the, the discount is Godzilla. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. We have Godzilla at home. Yeah, I got Godzilla at home. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's the <laughs> it's when your it's when your parents buy the wrong Christmas gift. <laughs> Basically, it's like no, I wanted this one. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, fuck you. <laughs> oh, man. I actually had that moment um, with a WCW game, and they got me the wrong one. Because <laughs> I wanted I WCW. Yeah. I wanted WCW Revenge, but they got me the. Um, I think it was the one before it or something. I forgot. Anyway, let's get a move on um, with. Actually, it's just. Let me see. I'm just going to open all these ones and see what's up, and then we'll wrap it. I do want to talk a little bit for sure about Joker. Folly, Folly I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because... Um, okay, we can get rid of this one. We'll, we'll save that for later. Uh, the Joker stuff. Uh, I'll just, like... Yeah. Um, when we get to it, I'm just going to... We'll lightning round it. Okay, so we'll talk what about has, what hasn't been said about it. Yeah. So at Universal Studios, it looks like uh, Fan Fest Nights, they're actually going to have a One Piece collaboration, starting from, uh, yeah, obviously in Hollywood, starting from April twenty fifth of next year to May eighteenth. All right. Now, before you continue, yes. You going right? Eh. <laughs> is, is this is this gonna be like how how strong in the One Piece fandom do you feel right now that you gonna have to like check it out? It depends what they have though, because I don't know. I mean, obviously they're not gonna be what Japan always puts out mm -hmm. for One Piece. Obviously, I have to see it, but I'm not really big on theme parks anymore. But we'll see. Um, I, I I I can't say shit. Yeah. I go to theme parks every once in once a year. Yeah, there has to be there has to be something big for me to like, be like, oh my god, I gotta go, right? You know. But I don't know what that would be. Okay. I just have to see it and see and be like, All oh, right. the Seiyus are there. As long as Zoro's there, yeah. Nakai san yeah, is that's there. My yeah. All the <laughs> All is there yeah. As long as Nakai san is there. Yeah. And I'll be like throwing you money, like, hey, <laughs> I need an autograph of Chopper and fucking Nico Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Just flying Ben Million. You was like, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, yeah, One Piece is a uh, part of it. The, the fan fest nice. So that's uh, neat. It doesn't really explain, again, like, uh, as what I was. What is it? <laughs> what is it? What's in it? Like, yeah, it just celebrates the best of sci-fi, fantasy, gaming, anime. Um, oh, okay, so I have immersive experiences, <laughs> celebratory moments, celebratory moments, not celebratory like people, right? Themed food, oh boy, all right. Um, and exclusive merchandise. So I'm pretty sure like they'll just have like burgers for like each of these. <laughs> <laughs> the uh the makeshift leg of meat from one piece that's that's that's, that's gotta be a thing right it's probably like a turkey leg or something i don't know you ever have like you ever had the uh turkey leg from disneyland or disney world excuse me yeah that that was a mistake on my life <laughs> <laughs> like they're fucking huge i only was able to finish half of it and then i was like and that goes 15 dollars out of my ass do you ever have that friend that was like skinny as fuck, but they just ate everything? They're just like, oh, yeah, that, that was me. That was me. Okay, that was in, you. Okay. Like fucking, fucking middle school to like, I want to say all the way to the mid COVID years. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Like you, you would take me to a buffet and I could fucking sit there. Nowadays, just devour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nowadays it's like no, <laughs> I I can't I can't do buffets anymore. Yeah, it's like one and done. Like one plate, I'm done. It's like it's a buffet. It's like one plate, and I'm done. 
<laughs> Except, did well, I it stutter? Also depends on what, <laughs> I know. It also depends on what buffet because um, if yeah. it's like a, a hot plate, then I, I could spend like a, a good solid three hours. Oh, shit. <laughs> Because hot plate, you don't eat a lot. You're yeah. just supposed to pace yourself. Yeah, yeah, sure. It, yeah, only sure. an idiot, sorry, an idiot will like load up their first bowl, and it's like, the fuck are you doing? Yeah, I gotta like, you gotta try out everything, right? Yeah. I mean, but it's also like for the hot plates. Like, I start off with greens and stuff, mm -hmm. and then I work like my meat into my meat and then carbs and yeah, yeah. And then dessert. <laughs> but, yeah. but but it's always weird, like in hot hot pots. It's like greens, meat, greens, greens, meat, meat, and then for some damn reason it was just like everything at once. And then I go back to like a routine and then yeah. I see my friends like they're already struggling on their like fifth bowl and I'm like on my seventh going like they're doing they're like how many noodles did you consume? Fucking old. I I definitely had that skinny as fuck friend, but they just devoured everything. He he ate. I remember he ate the um a nine by nine from uh, In and Out. Like he ate it. Like he ate the whole thing. Like nothing. Although apparently he told me later, not like on the day or not the day, uh the day after. Like he he threw up. I guess. Like but I I never knew that until like years after we got graduated like you never told i don't know i don't know why but um i mean so that's why like for everyone that's worrying about like gaining weight and stuff it's it's probably your metabolism like shot to hell yeah see and i exercise man i'm <laughs> either exercise or just you know count your blessings because your metabolism once you hit that good old three zero <laughs> yeah <laughs> that, 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 that shit goes like yeah. I think my metabolism is is still okay, but I'm like kind of like being careful ish. Yeah. As like long as yeah, when it's like steak, I'll eat it. But if it's like um like fast food, it's like mm, you know. Yeah, like me, fast food is more of like you're my last resort. Yeah, last resort, exactly. Last resort, or I need something to snack on. Yeah. And, yeah. And when it comes to like fast food, like which french fries am I going to get? Am I going to get McDonald's? Am I going to get Burger King's? Am I going to get Wendy's? Am I going to fucking yeah. throw $20 for just a small fucking fries from Five Guys? <laughs> oh, man. Or at Whataburger or um, Clo Clover's? I think that's. Oh, oh Culver's. 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 I I'm sorry. I used to love um Five Guys, but once I ate from Covers mm. and the pricing, I was like, "Wow, you're more cheaper. You're not breaking my bank." You're... Yeah, Covers, from what I've heard, is supposed to be like gourmet fast food ish. And then I mean, that's what they said about Zaxby's. Zaxby's supposed to be like the gourmet, like fried chicken. And mm -hmm. I still haven't eaten there because I rather I rather eat. The chicken from Popeyes, but I like KFC's mashed potatoes. All oh, the sides, basically. Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to like chicken, I'll yeah, go actual to chicken. I think the actual chicken. Yeah, I think it'd be a close shot, but uh, I think it's Popeyes for me. But sides, I think it's it's KFC. Like it's KFC uh, for some damn reason. For some damn reason, right? Yeah. Yeah. And also that KFC's chicken, they're small now. Well, it's like it's not worth the price. Yeah, I mean, I guess it depends on it, it may depend on on place to place in and you know, the batch of chicken or, or whatever. Region. Yeah. yeah, or region, yeah. But yeah, I can't I can't say much cuz I don't I haven't uh, eaten KFC that often, so I I can't say. But yeah, food. <laughs> food. No. Yeah, let's, let's end it end it with this. Yes, so, um, Joker, yes. So, I mean, I haven't watched it yet, but I've heard mostly bad things about it, unfortunately. Yeah, I heard bad things. Yes. The main bad thing is, um, which really 
was one of those, you know, like check marks that, you know, you think a, a studio would do, but they didn't do it. They did not do no test screening uh, screening of this movie. They just oh. let it loose into the wild. Wow. So this is, this is actually like their first time actually showing this to the, to anyone, essentially. Yep. Wow. No wonder. Jesus. Fuck. They just let it out through the wild. Um, wow. Number two, there, there are cases that people didn't like this movie because it was a musical. Okay. Understandable. It's not for you. Right. But I think I even mean, but there are there are some good musicals out there mm -hmm. or musical movies like Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, Sweeney Todd is a hit and miss with people because you know gore or violence and right. stuff like that. Suicide um, Story. I mean. <laughs> Suicide Story. Chicago. Race. Yeah. Greece. Um. Uh. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna say an obscure uh, musical, which is, uh, it's kind of a musical, but not really. Um, Repo the generic opera. Oh, <laughs> yes. You see, see, you, you're like, wait, I heard that before. Mm. Uh, Les Miserables. Yeah, I was gonna say movie. that. Yeah, it was a really good one, but fucking, um, what, what's the actor's name? Um, not not Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman was really good in that movie. So was um. Oh shit! I just forgot all their names. Hmm. No, Anne Hathaway was good. Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe singing in that damn movie was so fucking weird because he wasn't really singing. Mm, okay. He was um. Did he, you know, like when you... did, did he lip sync? No, not li no, no, he was singing, but it was like more of like line reading, but with a singing voice. Oh, yeah. Okay, I know time. what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, another good musical to me is Moulin Rouge. Yes, yeah. The Greatest Showman, again, with um, Hugh Jackman. Mm -hmm. Really good. Yeah. Phantom of the Opera. Hairspray, that's a fucking like. Oh, hit. yeah. Hairspray, wow. That's, I rather prefer the Broadway version than whatever that CGI mask was. Yeah. Um, but anywho, and, I, 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 yeah. yeah there, there, there's more. But yeah. But that's one of one reason is because people don't, some, the people that went to see it then said, like, oh, it's a musical. I don't like it. It's like, then why? <laughs> Um, others blame Lady Gaga for whatever damn reason. And mm -hmm. I just chalk it up. Okay, you're just a Lady Gaga hater. So you're just going to go in there, watch it, say you hate it because of her, put it online, and just hope for clout. Okay. Profit? <laughs> Profit? Question mark? Well, I mean, depends on who they are, but right. Yeah. But um, um, the else? other thing is they like, uh, well, hasn't been said the, the the director don't doesn't want to do any more um dc stuff because because of this and again on the director he didn't want to make the C, uh the sequel he yes this is supposed to be a one-off yeah one-off but no nope. wb is like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> make another one is like it... yeah so so I kind of want to say this is a big fuck you from the director to WB. It's like, there you go. I mm -hmm. made your fucking movie. Yep. You, you paid me already, so what more you can do? Right, right. You cannot sue me. <laughs> right. Yeah, I think, yeah. So all, what I was going to say about it was that even the people who liked musicals did not like this one because the musicals themselves had little to do with the movie. Yeah, the a little bit to the um to move the plot mm -hmm. um but uh, i'm also going to touch upon lady gaga she's barely in the movie from what people are saying oh okay like the character of harley quinn was barely in the movie so mm -hmm. it's like you can't really blame gaga for anything because <laughs> how can you blame someone when they're not even right in it <laughs> but you know like it's just yeah, maybe the writing or something, but writing or the directors, because uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I am kind of morbidly curious 
because I really like the first movie. So I may yeah. go see it on a Tuesday night or something. We'll see. Just, just by, you know. I, I would rather give you like so you can save money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I'm also curious idea. about Transformers 1, though, because I heard it was like, really okay, good. Okay, yeah. Transformers 1 is really good. But I just hate how there are those people right now. They're bashing super hard. On Megatron? On the joke. No, on on Joker 2. Oh, Joker. Okay, like, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Joker 2 is a piece of shit. Here's not a piece of shit movie. You should watch Transformer 2. It's like, don't use a downfall of another fucking movie right. to, you know, promote another one. Fucking be civil. Right. Yeah, you know, yeah, that, that that seemed unnes- unnecessary, right? Because, like, yeah, if it's a, mo- if a if the movie's good already, why put this one down even further or to, you know, right? Um, it's like it's like we know it's fucking bad. Okay, yeah. we don't need you to go fucking bash it in our head. But like, right? Yeah, this movie, this movie is okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go watch this one instead. It's like, yeah, you're making me not want to fucking watch the movie then. Oh, you don't know what you're missing. It's like, oh no, I, I. <laughs> it's like I, I know. Right. I know exactly what I, I'm missing. So in comparison to the Flash, it got uh or. It made, it, okay, so first off, Joker 2 made $7 million in the domestic previews, okay, which is less than uh, The Flash, which made almost $10 million. And then similar to uh, The Marvels uh, right now, which made $6.6 million during that similar period of time. Nearly 50% below the first film's preview earnings. Um may only earn 50 million in the uh, domestic opening weekend and the budget was 200 million which is tripled that of the first film that's insane dude that's a big fuck you if, if that's really true then if, if what you're saying is kind of true right that's a big fuck you to um wb because yeah i mean the director didn't want to make a sequel it was not there was no intention of, of a sequel right he didn't need one he didn't need one no i i didn't i didn't think he would need need one right yeah um yeah very very unfortunate i i do i really did like the first one with joaquin phoenix though to be fair i guess um it was a combination of uh what was it um uh, taxi driver and one other movie is like kings of comedy or deaf or deaf comedy or i forget what was, i forget what it's called <laughs> yeah in any case the unfortunately the movie is not doing very well um it's just yeah it's it's another flop um yeah we had some like major flops this year huh for films and and and, and a certain game too like jesus man um you know that concord right now um we had we had borderlands being a flop and then joker too now like i want i don't i don't think it would be bad to the point where it'll go digital like fast like borderlands did because that was bad like that was really bad But man, yeah, it's uh very unfortunate. It's like the biggest drop, right? Pretty much. All right, that is uh, essentially it. Um, we just had a couple more things, but yeah, there's just like minor things. Um, I definitely wanted us to talk about Joker for sure. Oops, for sure. Um, so that's it. That's all we got. Um, thank you all much for um tuning in. And, um, uh, hopefully we'll have, uh, other stuff to talk about. Um, I imagine, uh, actually I can imagine something coming out for Hoyo stuff. So we'll maybe, maybe uh, we'll per- perhaps talk about that with the drip marketing mm-hmm. and yeah, we'll see. We'll see, uh, what, uh, Hoyo has cooking. Mm-hmm. Yep. For now. Thank you very much. We'll be back uh, 
yeah, we'll be back next week. And uh, till then, we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, mm -hmm. let me let me find a sound effect. Um, you gonna play? That's the question. God damn it! This shit was this shit is delayed. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna have Godzilla. This and is doo -doo, baby. Yeah, that too. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Now that was some shit. There you go. I wonder when I wonder when the uh, sound will show up at all. I did hit it, but it's with the iPad, and for some reason the iPad's like really slow. Oh, maybe we got cussed by it. All right. Get blocked, bitch. <laughs> right. There you go.